Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Let's do the speaky thing now. <laughs> Hello. It's time for the speaky thing. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, both, neither. Welcome to Roll for Good. This is the start of day two of 2024. Uh, we are raising money for Médecins Sans Frontières uh, by playing some games and hanging out with some good people. If you've come along, thank you so much for visiting our lovely little stream. I assume there'll be download links all over the place, presumably put through the chat by a bot or perhaps in the, in the description of what you're looking at now. Please give generously. Um, and yes, make it rain on sick people and international doctors. There are very few times when you can when you can legitimately make it rain on a doctor and have that not be disrespectful, but this is one of them. So today I am lucky enough to be running Stag Party for everyone here. Uh, I have a wonderful team which who 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 have been uh, who who have volunteered to come and play through. This is a one page game. I released it uh, back in January, and it is a. a if if you're aware of my work, the, your goblins quest, your honey's heist, uh, your goats crashes, you'll be aware that this is the sort of uh, loose anarchic, low prep, high chaos sort of thing which I normally do. Uh, the rules are available for free online, and um, if hey, I don't have Twitch chat open, but if if someone does, if someone's found them, post them in there, share them around. You can have them. They're free, buddy. But. I will read through what I will read through the intro to Stag Party just to give everyone a uh, a, a what's the word a, a a primer of what's going on, and then I'll introduce folks. We'll do some pronouns and some plugs. We'll roll some characters, and we'll get playing. So, <clears throat> you are a half human, half beast creature from the deep dark of the woods. You are a mighty champion, and you are getting married, as it's tradition. You and all your peers are to be wed to the arboreal sow, a beautiful and sacred pig the size of a transit van. You emerge steaming and glorious into the forecourt of a petrol station. It is the night before the ceremony, and, as is tradition, you must secure tribute from your queen from the lands of man. You have until dawn to claim something worthy. Make haste! So it's kind of a, you're playing you're playing amorous beastman. Well, not amorous. You're all you're all chosen, devoted to your queen. Uh, the year is 1993. It takes place in a <laughs> in a sort of provincial English village, uh, and you'll be charging around, causing problems. What I will need from all of you is to roll some characters. But first, let's introduce people, and we'll start. We'll, we'll go through in order on my screen. I should also say our producer today is Ada. He's very capably steering us around. You on camera, Ada, or are you just uh, you waving to us? You don't know. No one knows. Okay, cool, cool. The mysterious form of it is somewhere. Um, and if you if you choose to donate, uh, if you choose to to donate with our incentives, then uh, then Ada will Ada will scream loudly to introduce mm -hmm. us. And I need to make I need to put in about the incentives here. So first up, I'm going to go through an order on my screen. We have Ada who's producing for us, but also Andrew, say hello. Andrew says hello. Hello, uh, I'm you. Andrew. Um, I, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's start with some pronouns, Andrew. What do you use? <laughs> oh, um, yes. Um, I use he, him pronouns. Um, he, and um, yeah, I'm happy to be here today. An, an enigma. I like it. Sarah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Are Sarah. You... I use uh, she, her. Nice to meet you. I'm um, um, a person who really, really like games. I work mostly in video games uh, during the daytime. And uh, when I'm not working, I love to draw uh, and take part in campaigns. So hi. Uh, and last but not least, Morphs. Hi, so I'm Morphs. I'm an illustrator. My pronouns are she, her. And I like to mostly draw spot art uh, for maps and a lot of things with TTRPGs. <laughs> Excited to be here. Hello. Oh, and also, uh, yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Grant Hatt. Uh, I wrote this game. I also uh, I'm part of Rowan, Rick, and Deckard, uh, who do games such as Spire, The City Must Fall, uh, Heart City Beneath, 
uh, Dolly the RPG, and coming up in eight nail-biting days, Hollows, which, which we've been working on for three years. So just got to make sure that funds. But anyway, no, seriously, instead of that, Dr. Sans Frontier today. So we've met all of our all of our crew. We met all of our, all, all, all of our wonderful characters. Sorry, all of our wonderful players. So what I'd like you to do, players, is please roll on that on that beautiful D8 table I wrote um, to determine what your ancestry is. I'll read through these just 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 for the audience as well. Your human half is always powerful, and majestic. But what's your other? Oh, I will also say the other thing is you are hot. Everyone looks great, like like perfume ad great. Even Whoa. if you have, even if you have the head of a stag, uh, roll or pick. Your ancestral power is listed after in parentheses. If you get the same result as another player, you're related to each other in some way. A lot of games encourage you to re-roll duplicate results. I don't. I think it's fun. There are eight things you can be, and there are these are stag, <laughs> who have the power of bold oratory, the boar, righteous wrath, the fox, fey trickery, the hound, unparalleled tracker, the goat. Voracious appetite, the horse, dreadful momentum. It's quite hard to come up with something cool that a horse did. Seven, bull, furious charge, and eight, wildcat, inhuman dexterity. There is a little option. Uh, it, you can also, you can also, um, if you if you would rather, if you would rather it, if you roll wildcat, you can say that you're descended from a leopard, panther, or lion that escaped from a 1970s amateur pub zoo. And that's a fascinating thing which used to happen in the UK. We used to have zoos under pubs run by complete amateurs. And then, oh. and then, yep. And then in the, in the, in, in the mid to late seventies, the government cottoned on to what was going on with that. And rather than have any sort of official sort of wind down program, we just released a load of wildcats. <laughs> nothing <laughs> bad will happen there. Nothing bad will happen there. So, uh, so one of those wildcats could have been your mother or father. Um, if you'd like, and uh, you, and you, you hold ancestral memories of the pork scratchings and uh, room temperature bitter uh, of your youth. Uh, mechanically, all fairly straightforward. Um, you have a you have a beast dice. When you undertake a daring feat, you roll your beast dice. You succeed on a five or more. It starts at d six. Uh, on a four or less, your confusion and or ferocity get the better of you, and you fail. When you channel your ancestral power, roll another dice of the same size and pick high. So it's it's good to channel your ancestral power. It means you're more, you're more likely to succeed. However, if you roll the highest number on your beast dice, it increases in size by one step. So it goes up to d8, d10, d12. As you swell with mighty power. Each time you roll the highest number, it increases by one step. But if you ever roll a 12, you are eliminated from the game as overconfidence gets the better of you. Describe your tragic or heroic end. You'll be mourned at the wedding ceremony. Or if you just want to like claim you got cold feet or marry something else you find in the village, fine, I'm easy. But but you are effectively out of the game. The last thing which we need to do. Oh, uh, just you know what? I'm. It's, it's not a long game. I'm going to run through all the rules. Secondly, um, I want you to uh, make a little thing on your character sheet, and by character sheet, you're just going to you're going to have your ancestry written down, basically. Uh, there are three empty slots with two, three, and four check boxes next to them, respectively. If anyone's played or seen Eat the Reich, this is, works in basically the same way. When you claim the exotic devices of man, power tools, books, clothing, a 2014 Toyota Yaris, and turn them to your own ends, note it down in an empty slot. Uh, every time you use it, you check off a checkbox. So if you want to keep something, put it on one with more checkboxes. Each time you use the device, add one to your roll, mark a checkbox. Uh, and if if you run out of checkboxes, you can't use the thing. But the last, uh, you can opt to mark a checkbox and add two to your roll. But the device is destroyed if you do. So always do that on the last one. It's a bit of fun. What would be the 1993 equivalent of a 2014 Toyota Yaris? A 1992 Toyota Yaris. <laughs> I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Uh, finally, uh, the last thing, the last mechanic which you need to know is burdens. If it's appropriate, the GM can give you a burden. Also, if you feel like you deserve one, tell me and write it down. Uh, usually in response to a failure, but I shouldn't feel constrained by that. Something like sprained ankle or jealous or whiskey drunk. When you undertake a daring feat, when you roll dice, subtract one from your result for each burden that would hamper your efforts. You can remove burdens by performing suitable actions in the fiction. It's not 
they're not really going to cause you too many problems. But if you if you like to solve them, you can. So everyone's got a broad understanding of the rules. Uh, who who do we have with us today? Andrew, we'll start with you. What was your uh, what, what is your ancestry? So uh, my ancestry is that of the bull. The bull. Um, and um, I think in terms of a name for my character, um, I, he he was very I, I think fills the role of a philosopher despite ah. his um, d- 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 despite the the stereotypes associated with the bull. Mm-hmm. Um, so he chose a name for himself, uh, which is I think therefore I ram. <laughs> Uh... Might shorten that. <laughs> Who I think, uh, but I like I like philosopher. That's great. <laughs> um... <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh. I think, therefore, I am it's here. If you take all the first letters, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I just rolled and I got a free, which I think is fox. Fox. Um. So I I am a little foxy, I think. I like to to play on my ancestry. And uh, I think I'm way smarter than I am. Mm. Uh, (laughs) That's my only problem. Mm. And uh, I think I would call myself something like mm, Missy. (laughs) Missy, Missy the Vixen. Um, I like that, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you 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 have subscribed to the popular um, falsehood that foxes are cunning. Actually, actually, foxes are dumb as shit, much like owls. But something about them which makes us think they're clever. Um, finally, morphs. Uh, yeah, I rolled a seven, uh, which makes Not me. The ball. Uh, yeah, uh, and I'm I'm one of those. Uh, I really do believe in the prophecies. I, I believe my parents. I believe that I was born to be married. <laughs> to this. And I, I, my name is Bully Eilish. <laughs> after, after a, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> after, after a, after a loose, after a loose concert flyer flew into the woods with words of the human prophet oh. Billy Eilish. Yeah. She's so popular. Surely you must have. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh wow. Good. I hope. I hope mine is up to snuff. I rolled a four. I am a hound. I'm a curious tracker, and I shall be named after the most famous detective, crime-solving individual to follow all the clues. You may call me Blues Clues. Blues Clues. <laughs> Clues. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some apostrophes in there, make it seem a bit more fantasy. Blues clues. Uh, cool, great. So we have, uh, I think, the four I ram, Missy, Bully Eilish, and uh, Blues Clues. Clearly, clearly drawing on uh, like like there's, this, there's a there's, there's a skewing towards human respect here, which 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 is interesting. Clearly, you uh, perhaps not the most hardcore, not the most conservative. Of the forest folk, you've been you've been lured in by the human worlds before, and you're excited to visit them for the first time after after having heard so many mysteries. But first, the night before your stag party, as the arboreal sow, resplendent in her majesty, again easily the size of a transit van, but lying down on its side, um, suckling a beautiful litter of minis i don't know um a beautiful sow (laughs) she sings she sings like like her her voice well you knelt before your queen and she snorted her cryptic wishes into your waiting ear each player should roll the result describes the tribute they've been tasked to secure Players can choose to roll two or three times and combine the answers. Securing the tribute will be more difficult, but they will hold a more prestigious place amongst the ranks of the Queen's betrothed. So there are uh, there's ten things you can roll here. They are, and they describe the thing which the uh, which the sow has asked you to get. So um, please roll. Tell me what you get, and then I'll um, I'll whisper it as the Queen. Just 
start with uh, Ada. I rolled a three. So I must secure for my queen and my beautiful bride to be something that is delicious as deep truffles. Delicious as deep truffles. Says yes. The, says yes. the queen. Yes. Yes. Um, Nothing you... is as delicious as you, my queen, though. <laughs> You there's are a, there's, you there's are a, a you are a snack. A, the gods. I, one of the eyes opens half an inch. Mm. <laughs> you place another flower garland joining the forty around her neck, um, and uh, and yeah, right. Uh, and then uh, next in the line is Andrew. Now I will say you can choose to roll more than once if you'd like, but it will make the game a bit harder. And also, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's up to you, Andrew. Um, what did what did what did you roll? So, so I rolled twice. Great. Um, and I roll uh, I rolled dark as a snake's heart, as well as tough as the heart's wood oak. Mm. Dark, as dark as the snakes, as dark. What what does the arboreal sound sound like? Well, this this is just my standard Tory voice. <laughs> this is, um. <laughs> back in the throat. Let's get it back in the throat. As dark as a snake's, as dark as a snake's heart, and as tough as hard soak. She says, uh, "Dark and tough." Okay, Sarah. Yeah, I rolled a two, which is loud as thunder's cry. Yeah, that's the stuff. Um. Uh, the, the 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 arboreal sound as uh, says a loud of thunder's cry and as if as as if to uh, to underline her point stamps with one hoof but again like trotter but again like she's lying down so it's more like she's sort of like thrashing her but again super majestic it's like you know in Dark Souls when you when when you beat the two lads on Ormstein and Small and you see like like that enormous lady and she's like hi and it turns out she's wow. actually an illusion but it's that but a pig and it's decided yeah uh, finally morphs yeah I rolled five <laughs> which mm -hmm. is fascinating as the fox's secret mm. it's fascinating as a fox's secret we have donations woo we have <laughs> We have donations. Thank you to um, someone has donated to give Ida specifically uh, curious devices. Curious devices. Okay. Well, um, we will. Ida, I would yes. like to. Um, well, let let me introduce. Uh, let's let's get set up in the actual adventure first, and you'll appear holding whatever it is. Um, so you join us. We'll start. Oh. We've, got, we've got everything we need now. Oh yeah, you're a dog, I remember. Um, you join us. Um in what in what man what mankind calls the Eveswood Nature Reserve, located just south of Arnside, uh, itself uh in the less popular end of the of the Lake District, uh with a serviceable uh train uh, train connection at Silverbull uh, sorry at Silverdale train station, but deep within deep within the Eves Wood Nature Reserve. We we the camera runs past the pepper pot, which is, from what I can tell, some sort of tower. It only appears to be about twenty foot tall, but it's what the it's what the district's got going for it. And we curl around. The camera pans around through this thick forest. Oh, nearly a mile across it must be. And down in the in the uh, down as the as the forest bleeds out to the village. You join us on Wailing's Lane, um, and, and and also if anyone's playing along, you can now you can now follow us precisely where they are in the world. And please don't complain if I get it wrong. You join us in Wailing's Lane. Um, there's no petrol forecourt there because there's not one on the map, but you do see a, a house with, and this is going to really blow your mind, a swimming pool, some sort of. Ah, hang on, have to use have to use fantastical language. A pristine blue pond unlike unlike that which you've ever seen reflecting the stars no frog makes this place its home no dragonfly scuts and flitters no this reeks of man they've taken they've taken the beautiful artistry of the river of the sea 
You have heard of this thing. You, you figure it's cool. Of the river, of the sea, of the lake, and tamed it and poisoned it until no life remains. These strange and insidious creatures. But they hold your power. They hold the power that you need to please the arboreal sound. So, emerging from the woodline uh, around the, uh, and clambering over the fence around the, uh, ar around the swimming pool come our heroes. Standing, uh, we'll, we'll bring in Ida last because she's got a cool thing. So first up we see and Also, Andrew yeah. has cool thing. Ah, shit. Okay. We'll bring in Ida's <laughs> Andrew last. Sarah! <laughs> Describe, please, um, Missy as she as she makes her arrival uh, in a very swift movement uh, i just climb over and i looked at this weird pound that just reeks of death honestly yeah. uh, i'm like there's no sound here that's not helping me much uh, for my <laughs> quest <laughs> there's not even a frog hey, what the hell <laughs> but it's so blue oh, you, this frog. it's pretty loud <laughs> <laughs> but it's so blue like it's so intriguing i kind of mm. want to taste it i want to see oh. if it tastes like a pound it tastes it tastes hideous if i actually no no uh, <laughs> give, give me a roll give me a roll roll your d6 this is something audacious and daring you're drinking directly from the uh from the from the poisoned well that you found ahead of you oh my god i just rolled a one <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's disgusting. You, um, you like you slink over. And I like to imagine that, that uh, Missy isn't wearing fishnets, but could. I think that's, 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 that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, lick, uh, lose down. <laughs> um, and just like wretches in the bushes um, as morphs charges through. Now, um, do, you, do you clamber over, or is this fence just an obstacle in your way to be barged aside fully? I just, I just enter as if it is meant for me to be there. <laughs> so I'm just yeah. like, wow, yeah, of course. I'm glad this exists. And what then I just, you... I just try to sniff it because I don't know what it is. Mm, <laughs> it, again, it smells like death. And uh, Missy just drank some and started puking everywhere. So it's probably best. It's, 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 it's probably poison. Why would they have a huge vat of poison out back of their house? That's disgusting. What do you, what do you look like? Uh, bully. What's your like? Give us a description of your character. Just uh, really scruffy. Uh, <laughs> I don't smell the best, but I'm trying my best. Uh... <laughs> I will say as well, you are, and this this is a game rule. Objectively gorgeous. All of you are hot. So yeah. I'm, I'm figuring, like, you, you don't smell the best, but in kind of a, in kind of a maybe. Still in a hot way. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. like, like you meet I, a guy in a in a day at a music way. festival, <laughs> and he smells. And it's like, is that a musk? Should, yeah, yeah. It's good, but it's like helping. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. When you find someone disgusting but hot at the same time, and you mm -hmm. can't tell. So yeah, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> it also <laughs> happens that. Um, Missy is going to have a magical blessing. Ah. <laughs> and this is something unusual. We're going to roll with it that we have for the table to decide and share another curious device and another magical blessing. Fantastic. In which case, um, I think that I think that we should go for um, morphs should get a, a magical blessing because because uh, you haven't got nothing yet. Um, and then when you search for something, uh, when you find an interesting place, we'll roll on the special table uh, rather than, you know, you find a spoon or something. So we're going to roll those beans. Um, get everyone. Um, actually, wait, sorry. No. Ada and Andrew, you're going to roll to see what devices you've got. Sarah and Morphs, you tell me when you want to trigger your, when you want to trigger your magical power. Uh, and then we'll roll to see what happens. Um uh, Sarah and Morphs um, sniffing deeply uh, at the at the the, the the vat of poison in this in this clearing. Uh, the Queen whispers, "Your mm, I'm back here. Your curiosity is to be rewarded, but you are so fragile here. Take of my blessings, and you feel you feel the the mighty." arboreal energy earth itself in the base of your spine uh there is a spell tight within your chest which you can breathe out like smoke uh however ada and andrew what'd you roll 
D6, please. A6? Uh, what dice? Uh, D6, please. Okie dokie. A one. A six. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah. it's great. It's great. Great, um, great, great, great. Um, Aida, uh, you found a disguise. Oh. Um, it's something which your people refer to as the Shroud of the Rose Demon. <laughs> Uh, it is a. It's uh, so. This was uh, this was taken from the lands of man. It seems like this is a. This is a relic, handed down since 1992, and you are. Uh, it is. It is a. It is a sort of. I'll try to describe it. A flexible pink, um, full body suit. There are. Uh, it's it's bright pink. There are yellow dots on it. Uh, it's it has it has a sort of uh, it has a collar and a bow tie. It has two uh, glass domes on the top with like jiggling eyes in it. And to anyone who grew up in the UK in the nineties, this is a Mr. Blobby costume. <laughs> but not. It's magnificent. Um, My queen, thank you for these boons. <laughs> yes, uh, you you wear the shroud of the rose demon so proudly. Um, and I'm really glad that it was given to a character without giant horns. Um, it's uh, the, it, it, inside. It smells like a Mr. Blobby costume that's been kept in the woods for a full calendar year, I and mean, it wasn't washed before that. But it does allow you to pass yourself off as a harmless children's entertainer. <laughs> um, and Andrew, Andrew, you're on a quad bike. <laughs> Andrew, uh, oh, hell uh, yes, uh, you are on. A <laughs> You were on a four-wheeled iron steed. Matte black, matte black antlers roars like thunder. Um, you can, uh, yeah, you can, if, if, if you want to just drive it hard into the scene, that's fine. Or you can be wheeling it around in stealth mode. I don't mind. Which do you think? Attempting a wheelie into the scene, I Absolutely. think, is... Absolutely. Uh, Please roll me a dice. It, it seems like the most logical option. Ah, the only logical option. D6? You're yeah. looking for five or six? Um, that is a six. <gasps> you swell with mighty power! Oh! You're... you're uh, yeah, you, you, you nail that fucking wheelie into the scene. You clear the... Uh, the, the the swimming pool. The like the it just keeps this keeps sort of like we keep putting a hat on a hat in this scene. And you'd think the Mr. Blobby costume would have been the end of it, but no. A quad bike roars over, smashes through, uh, and lands on the back patio. You uh, your beast dice is now a D8. You're feeling incredibly powerful. Boy, you're not puffed up. Um and uh, and you can hear uh, you can see uh, some lights in nearby houses turning on. Now we're all here. We all know what we want. Around you, you can see. In fact, probably just drop them there. I'm going to do that. In the distance, you can hear the rolling of the sea, as the sea. Uh, in you can hear you can hear the, uh, the you can hear the sea lapping softly into Morecambe Bay, uh, as as Arnside stretches out around you. To the south, you can see Silverdale. Containing such incredible places as Dalgleish Flooring Services and Designer Travel by Emma Parrythorpe, and of course the Silverdale Hotel. To the to the west, you can see the Silverdale Coast, including Cove House, which is some sort of aged care, and the Silverdale Cricket Club, and of course to the north, ah, the north, Arnside proper, Arnside Tower Farm, and Arnside Tower. A ruin from the before times. Now, it's probably a sensible idea for you all to stick with each other. But where would you like to go? What would you like to do? Please ask me some questions about what you see. Ask me, um, we, we can establish a back and forth. But now, the night is your own. You have until dawn. And you have a Mr. Blobby costume and a quad bike and two magic spells. Uh, my first question is: Do I do I hear anything? Like, do I hear a sound emanating from any places, any specific zone? Yeah, yeah. So, so there's, there's there's this four wheeled quad bike which is just smashed through the. Um, so yeah, like like it does seem 
that um, that uh, I think already has your gift. Um, but you know, you know, we'll see. Uh, oh, by the way, cross off one use of that quad bike, please, Andrew. Uh, you get you get three uses of, each, of each item, uh, and once it once you run out, it breaks, or you get bored of it, or whatever. Is there anything loud? Is there anything loud? Um, yes, actually, there is. You can hear a. To what your human ears, to, 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 to Sarah's human ears, obviously you hear an ABBA medley. Um, but to uh, but to the but to the ears of of Missy the fox, the screeching wail and um, electronic crunch of um, just the whitest possible disco is emanating out throughout. From you can see in the distance, you can maybe see like there's some flashing lights. And you can make it, and like, like, I, I, like, you, you and the other, you, you and the other um, half human, half animals. Occasionally, you'll you'll gather around, and you'll all scream at the same time around the sow to sort of celebrate her. It seems like that's what they're doing here. They're all screaming inside this fortified uh, building of some kind. Uh, so it's karaoke you night. Know, it's kind of an abba karaoke night. This karaoke machine. Um, but you can, yeah, you can, you, you can, you can sort of hear, yeah. In fact, in fact, you you can clearly hear, uh, "Mamma Mia, dun, 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 here I go again," uh, echoing across the Silverdale Park. Um, upstairs, by the way, uh, someone turns on their light, uh, op opens the curtains, and peers out. Oh, bloody hell, are you doing, my God? Quad bikes? They say. Oh, uh, someone says, "You see him throw on a dressing gown and come down to." To give you a thorough talking to. Uh, cool. Any other questions? Uh, I just assume that is a, a compliment. I'm just I'm taking that in and being like, oh, of course, of course, this is a compliment my way. I'm like, thank you, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> you too. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um. This guy. Uh, oh, I will also say, on terms of the lines and veils. Following, mm, it's, it's one thing I want to establish before you speak to a human. In terms of the lines and veils, one of the things we've, we've asked we've asked to draw over is a veil over violence or like graphic or gory violence. Now you are minotaurs, two of you, uh, and this this is just some aging Tory. So odds are stacked in his favour of this being a fair fight. But if it's any sort of brutal violence, we will put it off screen. We will have it happen. Out of focus behind everyone, it's probably funnier that way, or you can just throw him through a wall. Um, but yes, um, this guy comes down, uh, and uh, he's, he's, he, he's not got his glasses on, he can't quite see what's going on. You bloody kids driving your bloody quad bikes around in my bloody garden. What is this? For half past nine at night, it's not. As if it's not bad enough for them doing karaoke down at the Silver Lake Arms. Oh, I've had just about fuck. He says as he realizes you're all um, half, half beast, half creatures. Uh, what are you going to do about this, Ada? You're in disguise, <laughs> but unfortunately, you've got all the creatures. I'm oh, sorry, I said you're in disguise, but also you've got a mine. <laughs> two, two minotaurs with an earshot. Do you have a scheme? I will ensure that my uh, Shroud of the Rose demon is properly affixed to my glorious Mom. body mm -hmm. and assume the form that these um, singular man of completely unattractive and uninteresting creatures, bipedal mm -hmm. creatures, may know as Mr. Blue Bay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's French. <laughs> <laughs> and Monsieur Blue Bay. <laughs> walk forward and say, Ah, my, 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 my circus friends, you have abandoned the show. Come to me. Come now. Uh, give me a, give me a roll, please. This, this strikes me as so dangerous. <laughs> oh no, well, I, I, I am wearing my uh, magical disguise. Yeah, sure. Plus two. Uh, I then that's a total eight because I rolled a six. Great, you swell with mighty power. <laughs> um you are uh, yeah you know what um 
Yeah, it turns out you can speak English, so that's interesting. You can, uh, presumably you learned it from watching Noel's House Party, VHSs, uh, or, or when it was broadcast live. Um, the man um, squints at you, squints at you. Oh, oh, it's a, oh, a bloody circus. Oh, God, this place is going to the dogs. Oh, what are you doing yes. running around? It is going to the dogs. It will be to the dogs. Would you like to join us in the world to the dogs? <laughs> Do I want to join the bloody circus? Oh, I've been a stockbroker for the last 50 years. Why do you think that? Oh. He, he, uh, he, I, companions, I, companions, clap, clap for this man. Clap now. <laughs> Andrew, uh, great, great, wonderful, wonderful. You're bringing him in. Andrew, it, feel, it seems like you've been trying to say something for a while. What was it you wanted to say? Um, so I, I, I in the, um, in an attempt to, to, to assist the situation, mm -hmm. um, af after having clapped, um, what I think, therefore, Iram will do um, is hand a, a, a essentially um, folded leaves mm -hmm. outstretched towards uh, this confused Tory, as mm -hmm. this is something that I think that for Iram has seen people on the streets do, and often has noted people just being turned away as soon as they're tried to be handed something. Uh, so in an attempt to assist, he's just going to hand him a, basically a bunch of leaves. Out of character, what are you, what are you referencing? Is, is this money? Uh, a, a, a leaflet, essentially. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So, uh, yes. <laughs> You have observed the humans in this. I love the idea of you, like, you like sitting in a tree watching charity muggers walk, walking, walking up and down the high street. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, give me a... Like, like this guy's bought this. That's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm not going to make you roll. Uh, he believes you're circus performers. He also thinks it's a bit weird that you've given him leaves, but he was he was already upset. Oh, I don't know what this town's... Oh. Turns around, uh, slams the back door. Um looks at you through his curtains and then closes them and then is like <laughs> and by the way we have more donations coming oh, in okay. we have another curious device to the pool so it's a total two curious devices to table or gm discretion and one more magical blessing gm's discretion great okay cool uh it seems like you've convinced this guy uh that you are in fact here from the circus you've you've ridden a quad bike around uh, thankfully, he didn't see the bit where you destroyed his fence, uh, but he is angry. Now, we've also got uh, one of the lines in Vales is only incompetent police officers and only lightly. So there's going to be some mob justice going on, but I don't think we've earned mob justice yet. This guy's more just upset. So so like, so like, you can see him putting in a call to the local police station that he's upset with, but it's probably not going to amount to too much before long. Um, still, we must this... make haste. <clears throat> yes. He does not have anything that will be as... Delicious as deep truffles. <laughs> Have any of you had deep truffles before? How will I know if it's delicious as deep truffles then? You remember the dreams of the sow as she described the truffle to you. Uh, can everyone please think of an adjective that describes the truffle? And we're going to, uh, like, they don't have to match, think of it, and then we'll say them. Yeah, I got one. Anyone? I got one. I'm sorry for this word. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Musty. Earthly. Moist. <laughs> Must. That was my second port of call. Musty. I was also going to say moist. <laughs> Musty. Moist. Moist. Sarah. Earthly. Earthy and. Indulgent. Indulgent. It's like. Yeah, it's like a, uh, it's like one of them, one of them uh, Lindor chocolate balls. You know the ones that have the liquid center. <laughs> it's too moist, some stuff. But it's also like a Lindor chocolate ball, which grew under the earth. Um, so it is, a, it is. A, they're very delicate, deep truffles, uh, and they're also the size of a fully grown man's head. But, uh, I, but... I nibble the pink rubber of my shroud. Is your, is, is your face out? I'll, I'll raise one of my arms, assuming it's over by. But, my but is your, is your, because you're fully covered. You could eat I the will... inside of your costume, I suppose. I'll take a lick. 
Mm. No, it must be more nuanced, more complex. This is not yes. layered <laughs> enough for my queen. It's pretty complex. Again, like Mr. Blobby's been in the woods for a year and a dog's been wearing it. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, more, more uh, moisture. This is this is barely moisture. moist at all. No, there may I, be something I will interesting. There may be something take off the costume the for now and reveal my beautiful hound's head. I feel like the pub might have everything you need. Um, definitely loud, fascinating, delicious. Dark and tough is an interesting one, but maybe there's a maybe there's a there's a, a slot machine or a big table. But yeah, I like the idea of moving on down to the um, to the pub. It is karaoke night. Uh, <gasps> it, it is Saturday night. Um, Abba has, Abba has finished, uh, and now they're singing. Oh, what's a good early nineties song to be singing? Spice Girls. But yeah, we'll move it forward a bit. Sure, mid nineties. Yeah, yeah. So I tell you what I want. What I really want. Yeah, tell me what you want. What I, I want. Ha, ha, ha. Um, there, there are some. There are some women mangling. Um, the Spice Girls seminal breakout hit. Um, what are they? Um, the uh, you, you can hear inside, like just sort of traditional pub ambience. So clinking glasses. Uh, some some men going way. Um, and a female going because <laughs> this is a Tory town, um, and of course because it's because it's the nineties, everyone's smoking. It's an enlightened era. Everyone's chain smoking two cigarettes inside a pub. Um, it smells disgusting. <laughs> you can smell it from miles around, especially you, Ida. Like you could find this place with your eyes shut, which is lucky because you can't really see out the costume. But you see, speaking of my costume. Mm. More donations. Thank you, everyone, for your generosity. Um, Blue's Clues is being endowed with another curious device. Okay. And there is another curious device and another magical blessing, GM's choice for the rest of the group. Too we are popular. endowed. Too popular. I think, I think probably should have set these at a higher rate. Thank you so much <laughs> for, for contributing. That's wonderful. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's work this out. Let's work this out. Um, you look up at the sky. As you as you come down, it's clear. It's not quite as clear as the woods because there's street lights and there's a little bit of light pollution, but you're still on, you know, still on, on a village on the coastline. You look up at the sky and you can see um the constellations which have guided you through. Uh there is, of course, the um the astral sow who birthed the arboreal sow, the grandmother of the sow. Uh there is the big leaf. And of course, uh, the you know constellations, constellation type names. Um, but in your in in your frenzy, in your power, you see uh, it, oh, it's almost like you're are you hallucinating. But you see the stars. You see the stars around the astral sow shift down to look upon you. And she says, "Thank you for all the donations." <laughs> Truly, you are blessed by the gods. She booms. Um, May my starlight blessings rain down upon thee like rain. Um, and it's a bit like, it's a bit, yeah, like it's uh, you, uh, shooting stars shimmer towards you. As you see that this stag party, this crusade to the lands of man has been blessed Blessed truly by the generous viewers of Roll for Good, um, and uh, uh, and uh, the star, the uh, the star constellation in the shape of a doctor, but like a doctor who's working in a different country from the one he goes. Thanks, and then we cut back to the pig. You've got too many things. Um, everyone, play, um, I, I, you you go rummage around the back of the pub before you go in. Everyone, please make me a roll. Um, for what you get, um, if yeah, if you've if you've already got, uh, a, yeah, you know what? Sure, we'll work it out. Uh, have, we, have we got like a cunning device of man each? Is that is that the deal? Your choice. I think we're, if I understand it correctly, if Sarah and Morphs don't already have a curious device, they should mm -hmm. now have one. Absolutely. And I think that leaves an extra third for the table. So your right, your okay, call cool. rolls. Sarah Morphs, one. give me a roll, please. D six. Four. A four. Shit. Okay, cool. Um you Brock, 
probably going to have Sarah sneak in to the to the house above the pub because she's a sneaky fox um, to to sort of distribute these things before you make your main um, approach to the pub to the Silver Lake Arms. Um, the first place I referenced on the map, which doesn't exist, just made it up. Uh, so uh, Google Map, my Google Map plan really working well. Um, <clears throat> the 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 flat above the pub. Um, is fairly it's fairly well appointed. This seems it seems like this publican's doing quite well. Um, you find uh, over the mantelpiece uh, in the living room a, a an alchemical fire wand, um, which uh, which 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 occasionally uh, human rangers will bring into the woodland and use to uh, and and use to harm uh, the uh, the poor innocent delicious creatures of the woodland which you of course just eat raw or like you'll grab them and bite them in half but they use a it's a we'd know it as a double bar double barrel break action shotgun um over under so you know um but yeah there's no over under shotgun in there um you uh, it's loaded because that's more fun than it not being loaded um and then again wasn't he wasn't prepared people to be rolling this many times in the table so again this shark might have been hit a little bit early um Bully, you're rummaging around in the uh, in the in the shed out back of the pub, and you can see that there's an awful lot of topiary around here where the uh, where the where man has perverted these beautiful trees into something else and carved them into disgusting regular shapes. And you smell it, even with your bull's nose, um, even not with with with, with the hands. You can smell the reek of petrol. You smelt this before. You smelt the. It's it, it's what the quad bike smells like. It's what the it's it's, it's what the uh, the vans which come round um, the woods and prune the trees come round. And you, with a terrifying look, you the zealot, you who have learned all about the mysteries, you find the demon blade oakbane, destroyer of ancients, or as we'd know it, a petrol powered chainsaw. This is. This is pretty much. This is like the Lance of Linguinius great to you, right? This is absolute terrifying demon weapon. This cuts down trees and like the oldest trees without making any issue whatsoever. And it's yours. It's unoccupied. It's sorry. It's it's unattended, and you can have it. But will you? Are you are you capable of resisting the pull? of this demon weapon? Probably. There's no mechanics for you not doing so. I'm super curious about it. Mm. it. It really is making me feel very invincible. Yeah, oh God, you feel incredibly invincible. There's, this, <laughs> uh, there, there's an intoxicating. Uh, yeah. I look at it effort. and for a second I'm like, mm, is this fate? Is this my fatal weapon? Am I supposed to have this? You, uh, but at you... the same time, I don't like what has been done to the trees. No, 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 no. Everyone so, knows. Everyone knows you should, you should cut down trees by hitting them and biting them. Yes. And these. So I look at it, and I put it back down because I'm me. like, take I me, have take me. It, it 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 echoes in your ears. Pick it me is. up and pull my string. I don't want to pull any strings other than the sauce. <laughs> other than the what? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Other than the. <laughs> other oh, than you want to pull the sow string? Is that what the kids are calling it these days? <laughs> I, I don't know an awful lot about the mechanics of heterosexual sex, but I don't know what pulling a string. <laughs> we don't know oh. where bullies education comes from, but it's true. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. You'll be back, coward! It says. Um, but See ya. You, you, you turn your back. Um, please, uh, I would like you, instead of having a um, a condition which gives you minus one, I'd like you to have the pure of heart, or heart as strong as an oak, or something else, which gives you plus one when you refuse to engage with the wicked devices of man. You, you don't need this. It's their weapon. You do not need it. However, everyone else, it's still there. Also, Sarah, that fire one, loud as fuck. Like, like oh. pro probably the loud, probably the loudest thing available on this list. 
Um, I'm taking it right away. <laughs> I don't uh, think twice. It's it's loud temporarily, um, <laughs> but it's very loud when it is. Do I understand that it's loaded? Um, <laughs> Can what, I sniff something? Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, sure. What's funnier? It, 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 is, it, is it funnier if it's loaded or if it's unloaded? I think it's funnier if out? it's loaded. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, it's... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to say you don't quite understand what it is, but it's definitely important. Mm -hmm. And you've seen people using things like these in the in the woods before. So, like, pretty loud and pretty exciting. But you're not quite sure how it works. But yeah, it's loaded. Uh, you've got two shots for that. <clears throat> if that's indeed what it does, which it does. You are outside the pub. Um, Sarah morphs. You can feel, again, this this, this seed this uh, the 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 um, almost like like a like my, like like mycelial network spreading through your chest. The spell taking root, ready for you to breathe out. You see the already forgotten the name of the town. What is it? Silverdale. You see the Silverdale Arms. The um, two story village pub. Quite nicely appointed. Again, Tory town, so everything's fairly good. The horse brasses are polished. There's a moderate range of ales available on the bar. Uh, it is, it is this, it, it is, it is karaoke night. So the Spice Girls are being sung loudly. Wine, cider, beer, um, little packets of pork scratchings, all flowing freely. This is this is a fascinating and exciting place to you, just from the coloured lights alone. But now you've got a shotgun, a quad bike. A Mr. Blobby costume and no chainsaw. What are you going to do? How are you going to find these things you need? And they are literal gifts. My these these these, these creatures inside are are screaming. Could their screams be as delicious as deep truffles? Um, Could their screams be as hard as their oak screams heart? are also for the sow. Ah. Therefore, we should scream. We cannot Arch be out screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Please make me a roll. I, don't, I just that's a that's a brilliant image. I love that. Is a everyone going to join in? I rolled a four. Or a d eight, yeah. Oh, d eight, yeah. D8. Hell yeah. Yeah, everyone, give me a roll. <clears throat> Seven. Seven. Oh, wow. Powerful. Six. One. One. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Oh, no. um, the, um, you're possibly too busy pulling donuts in the, in the parking lot with your, with your quad bike, Andrew. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, 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 no. Um, you, you're, you're pulling, you're pulling donuts, uh, in the parking lot and a few people come up. So, oh, oh, what's that? No, hang on. They're not from. They're, they're, they're Cumbrian, aren't they? I can't do a proper Cumbrian accent. Oh, what's that? They say, and um, and look out the window to see Mr. Blobby standing, spotlit. <laughs> there is a there is a noise. There is a horror. I don't. I, who who here has heard a fox ever make a noise? Because it's horrible. That's there music to my ears, though. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I lived in London for about a decade, and just the amorous sounds of foxes doing stuff to each other, horrible. <laughs> um, echoes um, from the other, like from from the other side, emerging un, unarmed from a shed, a uh, a powerful minotaur. Um, Morphs. What noise does a minotaur make when it yells? Um, probably like a really loud yell. <laughs> it's like <laughs> a man noise, like a screaming goat. More, less of a man, <laughs> more more like a bear. <laughs> yeah, it just sounds like really good death metal. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, uh, it's, 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 and then and then Spotlet is again Mr. Blobby, <laughs> who lets forth a keening, stuttering howl on that fall. Um, Give me a, give me a, give me a howl, Ida. Uh, I will wait 
so everyone is looking and then the jukebox in, or the karaoke Everything inside right. changes to um duran duran's hungry like the wolf mm. and it's timed oh oh my god it's mr blobby says so someone <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like an authentic Mr. Blobby. Yeah, no, it must be some sort of knockoff Mr. Blobby. Oh, fantastic! Hey! Um, a few people come out of the pub and start, oh, oh Blobby, Blobby, Blobby! They say. Ow! Ah. Ow! Ow! <laughs> it's Mr. Blobby. Bucks! From inside the costume. Um... You, you have, you've certainly attracted the attention of everyone inside, and a lot of them are like, "Wow, well, if that's Mr. Blobby, what's the, what's the awful screaming coming from?" It's a bit, it's a bit. Of a... But you've definitely created a distraction. That's what you're interested in. Um, you have uh, everyone's focus on Mr. Blobby. There is a lot of loud noises coming, and you have a minotaur doing donuts uh, on a quad bike in the car park. Um, so solid, great, great screaming plan, folks. Definitely done. Now, yes, how does that get you any right. closer to achieving your goal? Mm-hmm. Is it, are any of the people bringing their drinks out or yeah, their yeah, yeah, yeah. Out? Think, yeah absolutely. Uh, they come out. They've got they've got um, again uh, t- two cigarettes each because it's nineteen it's nineteen ninety five. Um, there's uh, there's ladies coming out with uh, with glasses of well, we'll say it's we'll say it's warm white wine spritzers we'll go for uh, white wine spritzers we haven't had alka pops yet it's not it's, it's it's not the it's not the time maybe like maybe like a, like a shandy uh, and you've got some you've got some 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 a, a lot of half drunk um, pints of cider being waved around hey Mr Blowey uh, I, I will go and try to take some of the drinks. And just kind of with one hand try to open the mouth of the costume and the other try to pour. <laughs> and I'm just walking around trying different drinks to see if they are as delicious as deep truffles. It's fucking heinous. It's just like, like I love the idea of Mr. Bobby. Oh, delicious, wonderful. <laughs> no, this is disgusting. Open? This is not delicious. What is this? <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Okay. Um like Bit of fun in it, eh? Oh, Mr. Blobby! Oh, great, he's stealing drinks. Oh, it's weird that he's pouring them all over himself. Oh, it's weird that he's got the face of a dog and what? Um, a couple of people are like, oh, uh, maybe I've had too much to drink. But, uh, but you, you taste, uh, you taste something absolutely fascinating. You taste cider for the first time in your oh. life. Now you've had something similar when you had um, slightly fermented apples. Mm. Um, but this tastes like that done on purpose. Normally, what you have to do is bury the apples, leave them to ferment, come back, eat that rotting apple, and get slightly fucked up. But this has been made by the cunning hand of man. This has been distilled. So it's not got that delicious, sort of wormy, leaf litter taste to it. But it is still a uh, cider served in a village pub. So it's not a million miles off forest floor. It smells like the refined essence of the forest floor. It tastes like, it tastes sweet, it tastes potent, it tastes intoxicating, and you you think that maybe maybe maybe, like you've already drunk all of this, but if you could get a lot more, hmm, that could be. I could get an unopened bottle, mm. in its shininess for my for my bride to be. A keg, maybe. Hmm. Um, the kegs are probably inside the bar, Sarah. Yeah, you're looking for something loud. Now I know you have. A, I know you have a shotgun, but I want something loud like all the time. Yeah, so the yeah, yeah. karaoke is like <gasps> right. that's magnificent. Um, you are you are making a you, again. You're making a wretched fucking noise. But um, what's your what's your plan for infiltrating the pub? Are you got you going to run through the front door? You're going to you. you you're going to creep in. You're, in fact, you're already in the in the in the in the flat above the above the pub. Um, are you going to be sneaky? You're going to be uh, violent. You're going to be fast. What's your plan? I feel like I'm going to be sneaky. Well, people, I I can't understand that uh, Mr. Blobby is doing crazy in front of the pub. So I'm assuming that I can just go down and check out what's going on with that horrible sound. Uh, also, sorry. Give me a roll, Ida. 
uh, yes. for, for Mr. Blobby. And I will say, I think you got, you got three uses with it. And I think this is your second? Second. Second. Yeah, okay, cool. So it will go wrong. Um, this is a five. Tremendous. Works. You're great. Um, okay, that's it's, another it's, usage. It's precisely the sort of, uh, precisely the sort of thing that a, a, a virile young um, fiancé would get up to. Drinking, screaming. Uh, pouring cider down their neck. Nothing will go wrong when I give this to my bride and we take this together on our wedding night. Nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Everything will be as planned. Okay, <laughs> cool. Sarah. Yeah. What is your plan for getting this karaoke machine? My plan is first, uh, I keep that, that, that weird wind with me because I need to figure out how it works. <laughs> so I feel like I will go down and first, I want to spot where the karaoke machine is. Cool. Um, in inside the pub. Sorry, Andrew? No, we're good. Okay. Um, oh, no, I, I wasn't saying anything. Okay. <laughs> inside the pub, um, there is a... It's divided up into two areas. There's a there's a there's a there's a sort of bar at the front and a snug at the back. This is taking place in the snug. Uh, this, this, this is a, a throwback to when bars used to be divided up effectively into men's and women's areas. Um, but that's, you know, it's the enlightened age of 1993 or five or seven, depending on when this is set. So it's all sort of, it's all, it's all, it, it, it's all sort of uh, zhuzhed into the middle a bit. But there's, a, there's, there's, there's an awful lot of drunk ladies doing karaoke here. Um, and I'm going to say three men desperate to sing Wonderwall once they've had their eighth, eighth pint of culling. You... Um, there are um, a, a few a, a, a few people have gone out to see Mr. Blobby and are asking increasing questions about its enormous mouth and the way that it's pouring cider inside its suit. Um, but they are they are gearing up to sing um, Blobby, oh Mr. Blobby, the official Mr. Blobby theme tune, um, which was, which which is on the karaoke machine, which is great. Um, and. Anything else to mention? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a there's a wee bar in here, just like 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 off to the side. Uh, there is a uh, an Australian backpacker working there because uh, it's a pub. There's an Australian backpacker who's been travelling through and is now uh, and is now serving um, overpriced cider to some clueless rubes. That's pretty much the room. Any other questions? No, I think my plan mm -hmm. is that I'm going to avoid anything with liquid. <laughs> due to what happened to me last time. So I'm not very interested in the bar. Okay. But, oh my God, that karaoke machine. Uh, so I think I'll try to sneak in the room and oh, approach yeah. it give and understand a, how it works. Give me a daring check, please. Okay. D6? Uh, yeah, I don't think you've leveled up, have you? It's only a daring check. Three. Oh, okay. <laughs> what mysteries lie within this box, you think? What a strange and curious device. They've trapped the souls of a of a whole so you don't have musical instruments per se, but you do have like bits of tree that you hit. And there's other bits of tree that you can go hoo, 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 through. It's like that. But again, cutting devices have sort of rendered all that down and then trapped, like funneled oh, like the ghosts of trumpets into this box. Um you're poking at it. It seems fascinating. There's there's like there's a um would it be a computer? How, how, how did it work in 1993? Probably tapes. There's a load of different tapes. Uh, like there's, there's like there's, yeah, there's there's there's, v, there's 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 VHS tapes which you'd load in these sort of black plastic. Um, that must be what they're trapping the trumpets in. Um, you're looking through. You're starting to get a rough, a pretty pretty good idea of how this thing works. And someone goes, "Holy shit! Is that a half fox, half woman holding a shotgun next to the karaoke machine?" And they start running. Yeah, one of them. We. It's a quick question, Morphs. What's that for? What do you do with that? This is just a remainder of my dad's stuff. Oh, uh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what the kids are up to these days. That's, pr that's pretty hardcore if you're recording things onto VHS. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find an 8-track. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. You, you are spotted. You are a, you are you know, the, the 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 stealth roll goes wrong, um, and you are threatening. You ha you you're brandishing a shotgun one handed and poking at it, and you look unnatural and strange. And okay, gotta say, 
hot, hot, like definitely hot, and like and the people in the bar kind of kind of fascinated by you, but you've got a gun, um, and you're and you're 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 licking the karaoke machine, so people so pe people start people start blundering out of the snug and into the front of the bar, panicked. Pan oh, there's someone by there with a shotgun! Oh my god, what's going on? Um, there's people some. Some people turn around in the car park, and think, "Oh, is this is this is this somehow involved with this dog faced Mister Blobby act that we're seeing?" Um, morphs, Andrew. There's some there, there's there's some light chaos and tumult. What are you going to have to? Um, I think I just want to participate in 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 the karaoke stuff. I I feel really. Again, very entitled, very confident. I believe, I genuinely believe everybody likes me. Yeah, absolutely. So I me. enter and I am smooth, like winking at people, being like, yeah, say maybe you're going to be the one to save me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like moving really <laughs> towards the bar. I, I see the menu. Ah, says everyone. Go ahead. You yeah. see the menu? Uh, uh, me holding the menu, being like, what? What, ha what happened? Ah! Uh, yeah, everyone, everyone starts returning. Like, you like, adore like, me. <laughs> Thank you. You find the menu. What's on the menu? I, I'm just there. That's so many words. I don't understand. Oh yeah, you and can't read. I'm, I'm just thinking. Is this a secret? <laughs> Is this the ah, book of secrets? Because ah. nobody in here is touching it. They just seem to be yelling things to to like the, the person behind the bar. But mm. nobody is reading this. So is this is this a secret? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I like this. You find an ancient tome. Yeah. <laughs> Leather bound. Again, pristine by your by your standards. So uh, there's barely any dirt and grime on it whatsoever. Um, but inside. It's full of these mysterious scratchings, full of these, full of these glyphs from man. And occasionally, you can see pictures of something which you think is fish and chips. You've heard about fish and chips, yeah. and, there's, <laughs> and there's a picture of it. It's covered. You know, actually, there's peas. You've eaten peas. Those are peas. And it, it's like, like there's, a, there's a picture of a really subpar curry. There's a picture of a scampi. Yeah, 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 scampi. Um, and of course that fate and, and some sort of pie. And then, uh, on the back page, there's a children's dessert menu. That's fun. There's a penguin. It's a penguin you can eat ice cream out of its head. That's despicable. Normally you, you at least butcher the penguins before you eat them. This is some Indi Indiana Jones shit right out the head. Um, but yeah, you find, you find this, you find this, this menu. You think it's mysterious. You think it might be a sort of codex. You think it might be a cipher. And it unlocks the locations of all these fascinating items inside. It's a guide. But where? Where could these things be hidden? Andrew. You um you're doing you're doing so, don't um, <laughs> Yeah, I think I think um after a uh a short while of, of donating, mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if that is the uh, mm -hmm. appropriate terminology. Um, I don't know. When you make it into a verb, it sounds I, like I think, therefore, I ram. We'll probably... <laughs> I, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I didn't consider that. Um... <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I, think th I think there will be a point when I think, therefore, I ram has noticed the, uh, the 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 group of folks leaving the bar Panicked. through the um, the fear of the, the of obviously yeah the the, the panicked fear An and armed monster upon looking over I think the therefore a ram will pause yes an armed monster um, I th I think therefore a ram is probably going to spot a knocked over glass that. Has a a thick black ichor within it. <gasps> still, yes, just, just the dregs. Yes, and he he knows that this is what is as dark as what should be within a snake's heart, and he is going to just start to quad bike <laughs> toward the entrance of of the pub. 
Absolutely. Whichever one is leafing from. Make me a roll, please. Cross off one use of your quad bike and add two to the check. That is a five. <laughs> that's, that, that's enough. That's all you need. Bah! Right through the front of the pub. Um, you uh, you quad bike through the front doors, uh, knocking some people asunder. Um, I think I'm going to operate on... Um, Oh, there's a game on the PlayStation called Driver. You couldn't run people over. They just went, ah, and got out of the way before you got there. Um, so, that nah, everyone's like, ah! <laughs> um, as you screech forward, crash through uh, the, the the double doors uh, and land um, engine idling in the, in, the, in the main bar area. Um, you, can, you can hear, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're inside. And you see you see that um, that that dark, brackish, demonic liquid pooling on the bar, and you can smell it. You can smell the incredible, deep, musty, moist smell of Guinness. Um, or no, it is. It's definitely Guinness. It's not. It's not some equivalent stout. Um, and you know that. Yeah, it's come. It's, it's come, it must have come out of that tap. You can see a drawing of the black liquid on a tap. So this taps, this tap holds everything you need. But how are you going to get it out of the tap? Or how are you going to take the tap away? Or where's the Guinness actually? Many questions. What do you What are you going to do? Well, simply given that it it appears to be dripping from the tap. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, I'm going to, to think hard and and just just feel the tap, feel how um, how stern and how 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 um, wh whether or not it is as strong as I would hope, as something as strong as a heart would perhaps. It's a bit a bit and sexy. Given that, um... <laughs> thank you, um, and. The knowing that the the the, the, the pipeage is pr is pretty stern, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just hold it, and I'm then going to charge as hard and as fast in the opposite direction mm -hmm. to how it is secured to 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 this um, mm -hmm. to this bar to free it to hopefully secure something that is. Going to be a perfect gift for the arboreal sow. On a quad bike or not on a quad bike? Definitely on the quad bike. Fantastic, cool. <laughs> this this is your last use. You're gonna roll two d eight. You're gonna add you're gonna add two to that roll for the quad bike. Uh, then describe what happens to the quad bike, and then we'll work out what happened with the Guinness. Excellent. So. That is a that is an eight on the dice or with a modifier. Which uh, it's an eight with the modifier. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it works absolutely. You 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 grab the uh, you grab the the pump. God. Oh, it is firm, unyielding, wooden almost, or plastic or metal. I don't know what they're made of. Um. And you, you jam the quad bike in the opposite direction. And there's a tremendous <laughs> crunch as the tap comes free in your hand. It's a pretty clean break, actually. You're pretty happy about it. Um, there's uh, You have this mighty, mighty tap in your hand. And as, as the quad bike careens back out the front of the truck, uh, out the front of the pub, crashing into the car park, there's an enormous <laughs> of Guinness, of pressurized Guinness behind you. Spraying out into the roof. <laughs> it's it looks a bit like when they put dark uh, makeup I into dark coke. I absolutely use. <laughs> yes, um, I, I'm definitely going to use this opportunity to bathe myself in the uh, the, the dark ichor of the of snake's blood, <laughs> uh, simply so that the arboreal sow will know that I. Did this? Absolutely. I hunted this beast Absolutely. myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, the quad bike uh, explodes. That's so, but like, but like, but not on, not on camera. It's like, <laughs> ah! 
um, and you, you, the Guinness rains down upon you. Can you please take the condition reeking of Guinness? <laughs> Mechanical. Yeah. Status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking yes. of which, Andrew, some donations came in for you. You're going to get another curious device. Oh, Jesus. And another curious device. <laughs> <laughs> and a magical blessing. All right. <laughs> Andrew? Sarah is also going to get a magical blessing. Wow. Okay. Everyone, just tell me when you want to use these things. Because <laughs> I've already forgotten who's got what. Andrew, pop <laughs> popular with the crowd. You got, you got two. Andrew's got two curious devices and an extra magical blessing. Uh, Sarah gets one blessing. And I think there is one more blessing overall on the table. GM's discretion. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, just just t tell me when you want to do magic and we'll do magic. Um, it, like... The idea of the blessings of the arboreal so is they Excellent. is they they confer a miraculous benefit upon you. Mm. Uh, although what that benefit is, you may not be wise enough to understand how to use it. Is how I'm phrasing it. Um, so, but but hopefully it can solve a problem or create a different problem. So, on that subject, everyone has run away now um, from from inside the pub. You can see that there is a. Um, you can hear in the distance sirens, uh, as 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 as. as oh, actually, no, not sirens yet, because it's only it's only happening it's only happening for a couple of minutes. Uh, you can hear cars screeching away. Um, you can see people running into phone booths because it's nineteen ninety three, and 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 using the phone to dial the police. Um, they scatter off, running back home. Because this has gone full blown Cronenberg nightmare. This is really this isn't this isn't what they wanted. They just they just came out for a quiet drink, and honestly, they're feeling really attacked right now. But they um, were screaming first. No, that's very true. They were screaming first. Um, inside, inside the pub, um, there's an enormous hole ripped through the front of the pub. Uh, I also like to imagine that the quad bike actually made a separate hole on the way out. So we'll, we'll have it go through the side door rather than the same door it came in through. Um, there is a rain of Guinness coming down in the front room, uh, which, which is starting to abate. Um, but you're but you you are now covered. It's like a bit like that scene in uh, what's it called, The Descent, uh, uh, that 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 horror movie set in a cave where that woman sort of like crawls through a, like a, 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 a pond of blood and comes up but it's, it's like it's like yeah dark black guinness all over you um moths sarah you're in the back room um you are uh you unoccupied you have a working karaoke machine for now and some sort of codex maybe a clue um and either um you are you are still out front uh, you are still in this increasingly damp Mr. Blobby costume, um, and you have and you have worked out what it is that you want. As people are running away and mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. and they're taking this sweet, delectable ambrosia with them, I mm -hmm. must go to the source of this ambrosia, mm -hmm. and I will discern the best hole, enter, and use my keen nose senses to try to find the source, a cask, a contain, a vessel. Give me a give me a, a, a snoot check, please. Give me a roll. That'll be D8. That's a five. Five. Bang on. It's down downstairs in some sort of cave. Um, I will first the... start digging at the floor. Are you still in, are you still in your Mr. Blobby costume? There's increasingly damaged sure. Mr. Blobby costume. Yeah, okay, I, cool. <laughs> I start digging and I realize this is hard. My paws, I must find a hole that another creature has dug. Mm -hmm. I start looking for a hole or stairs. Absolutely. Um, uh, what, uh, standing behind the bar, uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, I think therefore I ram covered in Guinness and just past him, you can see a, uh, a, 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 a hole, uh, a burrow that a man has dug. Um, and yeah, I'm liking that. Um, and you scamper down into the basement. Oh, sorry. Uh, pound, pound powerfully down into the basement. Um, and as you, as you emerge downstairs, there's this dark, dank winding room. It smells like stale beer. It smells like cigarettes because it's a pub. Um, it smells like damp and there are rows and rows of these barrels. There's, uh, there's plastic boxes full of like 
Halloween decorations. There's a Christmas, there's a plastic Christmas tree in the corner. Um, and there's lots and lots of these metal, metal um, shelves holding kegs or holding supplies. Um, and then uh, from, from the darkness, there's a tremendous bang, a huge loud bang and a, a flash of light um, as uh, an alchemical fire wand discharges. See, it's so loud. You definitely shouldn't fire a shotgun in a basement, but these people have done it. And, I, and, and, someone, and someone yells, get the hell out of my pub! And fires a, a shotgun at you. Uh, it's pretty dark in there, so thankfully they haven't they haven't managed to do any harm to you yet. But you are going to have to think a way around this. Um, everyone else, you hear a shotgun go off downstairs. And also, we're getting getting close to our halfway point. So yeah, yeah. In fact, a good let's take dramatic a dramatic point. I like that. We'll take mm. a break. All right. How long will we be on break for? Five, uh, ten. Call it ten. Gives me time ten to minutes. Coffee. 10 minutes. Ten Thank minutes. you. Thank you, everyone, for all the donations and for watching along, having a wonderful time here. And I really hope that we're able to corral this into a beautiful wedding for everyone. Sure. Have a wonderful break. BRB. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. So hot, so moist, <laughs> so live right now. Oh, hi. Didn't see you come in there. Hi, viewer. Hi, viewers. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you, all of you, for donating so generously to Médecins Sans Frontières. I think we're currently at £600, which is wonderful. Please carry on throwing your money over arm into the internet uh, at these at these fine, fine people who I think we're going to try and get them to use all the spells you've paid for, but maybe in the next five minutes to see what happens. If... Also, you would like to take part in a giveaway. We are currently having one on the chat. It's a free leak. I've donated a copy of Blade Runner RPG Case File 2, Fiery Angels. Following the same deluxe format and packaging as the, well, not the PDF, as the award-winning Case File 1, Electric Dreams, uh, a new thrilling investor. It's good. You know, it's good. You can have it. You can, you can, you can go. And, and also, it's free leak, right? So they don't make bad games. It's, it's pretty solid. Thank you for the it says Grant Howard, so you know what? Oh, I, I am end I am so frustrated at Freely, because they could totally phone it in. They could totally just get those <laughs> incredible licenses and turn out some crap, but they keep putting out really good, nicely produced games every time. How dare. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um we are here, we are playing Stag Party. Um, and let's see where we were. We started uh near a swimming pool where you tried to get a Tory to join the circus, but that didn't work. So you went to a pub, uh, you drove a quad bike, you stole a shotgun, drove a quad bike through the front of the pub, um, found a mysterious codex referring to fish and chips and scampi. Uh, you uh, exploded the quad bike, wrenched off a Guinness tap and covered yourself in Guinness. Um, and uh, then, ah, yes, um, unwill unwittingly threatened a bunch of quite drunk women uh, with a shotgun uh, as you were attempting to taste the karaoke machine that they were performing on. Uh, finally, um, I, Ida, uh, in her tattered, sorry, Blue's Clues, uh, in a tattered Mr. Blobby costume, which was a joke far better said for the end of the stream than the start when we, when we rolled it, um, <laughs> is a, 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 <laughs> a nightmarish dog woman wearing about a third of a Mr. Blobby costume is uh, is snuffling downstairs into the pub basement where the where the owner discharged a shotgun point blank, well, not point blank, um, in in a small room creating a tremendous kaboom, uh, told told her to get out of his pub. And you can hear a ch -ch -ch of the shotgun, oh, sorry, ch -ch <laughs> being reloaded because it's not a pump action. Um, now, thanks to your kind donations, every single one of you here has the ability to channel the power of the arboreal sow and her mum, the astral sow. Um, no, I'm going to go for auroreal sow um, off the, off the uh, aurora borealis. The auroreal sow, you can channel her um, to produce powerful random, random magic effects. Uh, as I've said, each of these spells is nestling within your lungs, and all you got to do is breathe it out to manifest it. Um, there's a guy with a shotgun in the basement, which is kind of a problem for you, 
Um, not mechanically, because it's really quite hard to fail or die in this game, but fictionally, yeah, you're going, you're going to need to do something about it. Um, you just open fire on Ida. So let's start with let's start with everyone else reacting to the reacting to the loud noise. Uh, I think I hear it and try to head towards it. Absolutely, yes. Um, it's the 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 tunnel that's been dug down to the to the cavern underneath this underneath this building it's it's quite small considering that you are like i'm imagining you as a particularly big minotaur as well and so the horn you have to sort of get the horns through sideways that's a bit tricky to get down give me a roll please um i think five five yeah absolutely yeah you manage to <laughs> scrape your way down um in into the darkness uh it seems like it was lit before that shotgun blast took out the single bare light bulb which is swinging um and you uh, and you hear the owner say so i'm not pissing him out i'll kill a lot of you i've got a garden he says redundantly um sarah what are you up to um i just stopped checking the karaoke machine but i'm not sure i really understand how electricity work and how it's plugged in so oh god yeah plugs <laughs> yeah, oh. so I just I just give up the moment I hear the sound because I think <laughs> I think to myself, oh my god, the magic wand, he has one as well. I can check how it works. What's twice as good as one magic wand? Two. <laughs> so hmm. and the astral sound blessed you with two hands. <laughs> Amazing. So actually, I think I'm I'm gonna jump in just after. Absolutely, and, yeah. And I think it would be cool to use my blessing as I enter. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, cool. Um, you you barrel down the stairs, um, shotgun clenched, either between your teeth or in your hands. I don't know how you're running. Between um, the teeth is pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> mm. um, and uh, roll me d6, please, Sarah. Um, yeah. As you, as, you, as you channel the power within you to solve this problem. Four. <laughs> That's the least useful. Great wings of the mighty swan. Oh, damn. <laughs> Well, I, I get cool your arms, wings. Your arms become huge, beautiful, resplendent, like like moon white wings. As you flare up uh, in front of the sky, um, give me a give me a roll to just sort of I don't know, spook him with this, I guess, because you can't fly in here. Five. Five. Yeah. Ah! He says, um, and. Drops, drops the shotgun on the ground. Oh, okay, okay. Oh God, what, what the hell are you? So at this point, it asked, uh, both of us are in there with with the guy. Yeah, yeah. Again, not a big seller as well. So it's yeah, all, yeah. It's all very. We're just like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm like, hello. Uh, no, not to worry. We're just, we're just, we're just. I was just wondering where the sound came from. Quick question. To you? Morphs. Is it funnier if he can understand what you're saying or not? He he can't understand what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. So like, so so what? So what does he hear? He just hears me roaring with like. <laughs> 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 and I'm very confused because I'm I'm looking at, at Sarah being like I don't I don't understand what, what why is he still afraid of me? <laughs> I am being polite. <laughs> Falls down, um, fetal, on the floor and starts rocking back and forth. No, 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 this can't be happening. This can't be happening. No, 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 no. Must, must oh, be bedroom. Must be bedroom. He's praying to our bride. <sighs> perhaps, perhaps this creature would also like to bring a gift. No, wait. Additional competition. <laughs> um, I think I tried to pick him up and get him out. <laughs> yeah, make me a make me a roll, please. Four. Four. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Um, ca ca give me the. Uh, so, so now you have a, you have a negative uh, modifier, which is carrying this man. Yeah. He he. First of all, cannot understand that I mean well. Oh, he's kicking I, a lot. He, yeah, he hates yeah. it. I have him on my shoulder, being like, it's not a problem. But it's like I trying to carry it. a cat that doesn't yeah. want to be carried. And I barely fit through the. Uh, the, the exit. So, so he's dead. He's dumping on everything, but I'm 
honestly, this basement is distressing you. <laughs> so I just get him up and I place him and be like. <laughs> and he, but he, he, he turns and uh, and run and like scrambles out of the pub, uh, absolutely terrified. But I there is come up uh, the stairs, uh, trying to roll up a barrel, the least damaged one of whatever cider that my mm. nose detects. This is this is mm. the good stuff. This is the golden. This is this is the golden drips of heaven for my. Mm. Mm. So now that I have wings, I don't have arms <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I, right. I was like golden, like no. Sorry. Moist. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yes. So you you have, you have the wings of a swan and a shotgun in your mouth and a head of a fox. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I look at the yeah, other shotgun. D &D. I'm you know like, what D &D what? coming next? Pull that off. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I'm probably trying to find a way to pick up the other shotgun with my feet. I don't know mm. if I if I six it or not. You, you can you can certainly like you can cradle it in the arms. A, swan, ah, okay. a swan's wings are of course powerful enough to break a man's arm, as everyone knows. And you are bigger than a normal swan. So okay. so like so like you're you're perfect. Like you can you can definitely carry a shotgun with it. It's it's almost like like would you be too powerful? But yes, uh, yes, you can you can you can cradle cradle two shotguns in your beautiful swan's arms We're and bring them up to the us. surface. And I'm I'm following blue clues with my two two shotguns. <laughs> we have, um, oh, sorry. Um, before um, morphs, before this guy runs out, because I feel I've, 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 I I kind of want to I kind of want to leave him with you. Actually, I think I think it's funny to do that. He sees that you're carrying around the menu. Oh, sorry, the uh, the codex of provisions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so, so, what what do you do? Do you, do you want food? Is that it? You want something to eat? At this point, even I'm looking at him like. So I just, I, 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 he's he's seated, and I'm I'm trying to like show him the menu. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's 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 what we um. Oh god, oh god, that's that's what we yeah. You tell us what you want, and then we bring it out to you. It's like um. So it's a so like like you'd say I want fish and chips. You could maybe even point at the fish and chips, and then in the kitchen, at back, yeah, yeah. Then 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 they bring it forward to here. So all the food's back there. If you want, put you don't need to you don't need to do any more violence. All the food's back there. You can have it. Is it funnier if you can understand yeah. him or if you can't understand? Him? I can't understand him much either. But we're, we're, yeah, we're just like it's not, it's not. It's not even that I don't really understand English as well. It's just his accent. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. So I'm, I'm just there being like I, I sort of understand what you're saying. Yeah, he's pointing, like, oh, no. but also not really. <laughs> so I kind of, I kind of get what I've inferred from this. Mm -hmm. Is that magical item in the mm -hmm. kitchen? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe to to add on to this lovely gift, I should head there to figure it out. An absolute wonderland awaits you inside the kitchen. Great, great pans of forged steel hang from the rafters. Inside these enormous iron uh, boxes is cheese milk eggs bread that's defrosting for later fish packets of chili to microwave again those curries like again like just like frozen pucks of curry which you can pop in a microwave and put near a sad poppet on every uh there is uh there are well what else is in the kitchen enormous sinks where where uh where where you have those big sort of Pot washing things. Oh, a waterfall, pray tell, sir. A waterfall inside the home. And uh, um, uh, chopping boards and knives. And most powerful of all, what seems to be a cauldron. Now, you've uh, you've allied with the witches 
uh, in the in the woods. Um, I'm trying to remember what, what's the name of the woods again. Let's see if I can remember. Yeah, sorry, Eve's Wood Nature Reserve, located just south of Penrith. You've you've allied with the witches, and they bring a big cauldron around, and they put all kinds of magical stuff in there, and all sorts of magical spells come out. In fact, because because this, this, this is the this is the sounds like I'm going to say she gets she she does a wedding once every ten years. We'll say there's been quite a few witches in the in the arboreal court tonight. Um, throwing in frogs, you know, newts, uh, toads, that sort of thing, which is possibly responsible for all this loose magic which you've been given. Um, but you see another one of these cauldrons. You can, it's, it smells... It smells like... And this is maybe a weird way to describe it. 500 meals. It smells like 500 meals have been cooked in here and the oil hasn't been changed. So this incredibly rich and complex reek of rancid oil um, in a deep fat fryer, which is turned on. Now, I will also say, violence is veiled. So careful with it. But yeah, there is, there is, there is, a, there is a deep fat fryer plugged in on medium um, with a... Oh, what's in there? Just some really overdone scampi that was left in there before the cook ran out. I, I enter and I taste everything. I'm just like walking in and just like yeah, <laughs> eating yeah, whatever yeah. I can on yeah. the way. Including cheese. things I'm not supposed to be eating. Like, yeah, yeah. Pan, just, eggs yeah. whole, yeah, chopping yeah. board. Yeah, everything. Tasting chef's everything. hat. Um, I think pluck, it's great. <laughs> you pluck some of the... Uh, in, in fact, can, can, can you give me a, uh, a roll, please, to pluck some of the scampi out? Because it is very hot. Three. Three. Ah! Um, yeah. Please, uh, you, you 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 can you can cross off the carrying that guy around problem because he's run off now. Well, so he's he's left. But take uh, take burned hand. Um, as as the powerful magic in this cauldron, um, uh, Mars, your powerful Minotaur's hand. But you do get some delicious scampi out of it, and it tastes ah oh, like like a sort of fishy bullet. It's delightful. I think it's great, and at the same mm. time, I have immense respect for this cauldron because I now see it as a worthy. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! Yes. <laughs> I respect you. I bow down to the cauldron for absolutely no reason. The cauldron, well, the cauldron remains heretic. heretic. <laughs> as, as as Blue's Clues heads peeks around, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you see, um, bully. Deba debasing themselves in front of this golden calf, in front of this witch's a man witch's cauldron, a man witch. <laughs> man witch. Is um, this is this the greasy embrace that you wish to uh, throw yourself to, bully Eilish? <laughs> I just see this as a formidable opponent. You see, you see the power. No power is greater than that of our bride. That is true. I agree. Full it should be right. smote in the name of our bride. <laughs> I take my other hand. <laughs> I try to take it off. This one's undamaged. It'll hurt more. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Give me a um. Give me a, a roll, please. Um. It'll it'll still be with the minus oh, one. Oh God! <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> Uh, can you can you just uh, write times two next to the burned hand? Um, we are in the presence of an eldritch horror. Yeah, um, you 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 reach forward to to pick up the deep fat fryer, uh, and you do pretty well because again you're 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 even big for a minotaur. Um, the the hot fat sloshes over your arms and like and like your your hairy arms protect you from quite a lot of it, but there's this. Ah, it's tremendous like, oh God, pain. It's worthy for the love of the south. Ah. <laughs> the, um, like uh, you, you turn around, your arms steaming and smoking from the power, and the reek of 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 someone cooking a bull from the inside out, arms first. That's no, sorry, from the outside in, arms first. Oh, it's horrible reek of burnt bull hair. But yeah, this is powerful. You dropped it, some more of the oil goes on the floor, it's cooking everything around it. It's a bit like that scene in Alien where it bleeds and then goes down through, but it's a uh, uh, deep breath. Right. Are you, you going to smite this, Ada? This is this is eldritch abomination. Mm -hmm. 
it 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 offend it it offends the queen. It, I I think we shall come back to it. But first, I will let it know that it will be my quarry, and Blue's Clues will. Whenever Blue's Clues decides on a quarry, they mark it. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I, will, as a ha as a half human half hound, I will mm -hmm. mark mm -hmm. it. Okay. <laughs> give me a uh, give me a. Uh... I'm going to ask for a roll, so this is just to not piss in the fat. Because that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, go for it. A four. Like four. No, that's the, the four. <laughs> you piss right in. <clears throat> okay, listen. It attacks back. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like this, this thing is dangerous. You can't put your hands in it. You can't pick it up over your head. You can't piss directly in it. What a strange device this, these humans have built. Um, you 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 attempt to mark it as as a show of dominance, as as as, as in, in sort of like the dog equivalent of. Um, but yeah, it's it the 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 uh, the, the the urine uh, hits that hot fat and spits out with a tremendous. Tss, this thing hisses and cries uh, as it scorches your undercarriage. Your you know your down belows. You catch a bit of yeah, so um yeah, um, describe that however you want, and that's a condition you have. I will write, ouchie. Ouchie, yeah. Mechanical <laughs> um, condition, ouchie. Right, uh, and Andrew, Sarah, sorry, sorry. I think therefore I am and Missy. Um, it seems like we found the true villain of this piece, which mm. is an unattended deep fat friar. Now, mm. your your greatest hunter tried to mark it as a prey and it the very act of even the act of marking it it hurt what are you going to do about this and will you do it before it burns down the pub now i think about it <laughs> well I, I i think that that given that um our our greatest hunter marked it and was hurt in such a way Rebute. to me it, it, it makes me feel fear, which is not something that I wish to admit. Mm. Uh, so I'm going to raise my prize above my head and, and essentially shout to everyone. This place holds nothing left for us. Um, <laughs> because I'm thinking, you see, ah, that this is my way in. Smarter than the average bull. Is, is your way into what? <laughs> Out? Uh, yeah, my way into like out of the pub and to um, the, the 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 heart of the sow in the um, in a way that the others may not have. Right. Okay. Sure. Sure. Now, um, Sarah. Yeah, I, I I'm just shocked. I'm in total shock that our greatest warrior has been like attacked in that yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, and and it scares me to no hand, but I know that I have two magic win, so I'm taking one of my magic win, and I'm gonna try to take the same position that weird man uh, that was with us just now before mm -hmm. he ran off. Yeah. Your your arms can your arms can return to normal, or you can fire the shotgun as a swan. Whatever's funnier. I think as a swan is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit majestic. <laughs> and I aim for it. Jeez. Okay, cool. Yeah, make me a roll, please. Yeah. I'll make space. One. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a lot of space. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> dark wards, what hexes have been placed upon this thing? Even the tools of man cannot destroy it. You you bought before this it's it's not it hisses, it spits, but it's not made any move. It's so confident. It's so powerful. This living cauldron. This you you uh, you you take up a firing stance, and you know it's a pretty good firing stance. But you are firing at a deep fat fryer, which is plugged in and turned on. Oh. It'll be a gas one, wouldn't it? It's, you know, I don't know. Um, there is a there's a tremendous retort. You're firing this inside a not very big kitchen. There's no sound baffling here. There's all so, everyone's deafened. Your heart jumps a beat because you think, man, man, the arboreal sound would love how loud that is. Yeah. Um, but what the arboreal sow won't like um, is you discharge the shotgun into the front of this thing, and it it conjures 
a mighty ward. It conjures a mighty retributive strike as set most of the room on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> um, there is a there's, there's there's this huge splash. I'm going to say that that, you, that you're you're quite close. So basically, the the muzzle flare, the muzzle like the the, the powder flash catches the oil, sprays it all around. Is this this enormous gout of fire uh, sprays over the back uh, and uh, o- o- over the extractor fan and over the back wall and starts creeping up the walls um, as this thing. Um, as hot oil starts starts spilling out onto the floor, mm, sorry, no, tendrils and tentacles of oil start spilling forth from where you've shot it. God, this thing's powerful. Now the pub's on fire. I, think I, I hope my point, prize I is okay. Go ahead, Go ahead Mark. I think at this point I try to get everybody out. Because I have sensed this as a dangerous situation. So I'm like, oh my god, brother Ram, Messi, let's go. I just grab everybody. Again, I can't really grab y'all. Y'all are sort of slipping out. So I'm, trying. I'm like, oh. Just like not, not only your hands really sore, but they're very greasy. Yeah. yeah so, so like um especially Missy is really not in my grip anymore. I just try. I'm just pulling, pulling, pulling brother around, being like, oh, come on, we gotta do this for everybody. You get you get uh you get one of them, I get the other, and we're just so running you out. Have, yeah, wonderful, yeah, beautiful. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Andrew and Morphs, for that big being the voices of reason here, not trying to fight a deep fat fryer. Although thank you also to the other two people for fighting a deep fat fryer. Mm-hmm. That is crucial and it's probably the highlight of the stream. You um you stumble out leaving the vicious captured bound demon. Uh, which they used to cook fish, can you imagine it? Uh, to destroy the pub. Um, and you you tumble out into the car park. Uh, there is thick, acrid smoke ro- rolling out from inside. The fire alarm has gone off. Uh, and there's the, there's the... Oh, sorry, no, you don't know what fire alarm is. A banshee whale keens forth as the very the very soul of the building cries out in pain. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, uh, you, you have, you have currently two shotguns, a slightly dinged up keg of cider, whatever Guinness remains in your fur, and the handle that makes the Guinness come out. You assume a menu, um, and several units of police inbound. Uh, you can hear you can hear sirens now in the distance, um, although possibly. Um, well, it won't be fire brigade yet, but they'll be here soon. Police ambulances coming in. You can you, you can hear sirens all around. Do you feel like you've earned suitable tribute for your queen, or do you want to keep playing for maybe about half an hour to forty five minutes? Do we know if the creatures who shout their warning squeals, the sirens, into the air, mm-hmm. do they are they also <clears throat> laden with potential gifts and boons that our queen might find interesting? Or any other people might follow these whales. Are they laden with boons? Yeah. Um, like probably probably boons will arrive. Um, in the form of fire trucks, but you can see you can see the Banshee's house on the outside of the of the um, sorry, you can see the warding sigil which has bound the Banshee into the house. Uh, presumably, there's some sort of protective spell, the way that people used to like put a cat in the walls, that sort of thing. Put, uh, there is there, there there is a flashing a flashing uh, bl- uh, blue box on the front which is screaming, um, which is pretty cool. Should be. Hide and see what boons await. Mm. And if they are worth plucking, they shall be plucked. Yes. <laughs> let, 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 let us take to, to their to their garden of Ica beer. <laughs> Crouched. Shall, shall we take a more a, 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 a more discreet approach? Mm. 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 Hiding amidst the soft play area. 
uh, underneath the climbing <laughs> frame and the slides, our heroes wait. And so <laughs> <laughs> crouched on the roundabout, spinning in circles. What's, what's, that, uh, what's it called? The thing where you push it? Is that a roundabout? A merry-go-round? A uh, merry-go-round, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because yeah, that's like, like a big one. Yeah, I don't know. Pushy, pushy wheel. Anyway, on my. <laughs> um, crouched behind the swing set and the and the slides, and really, some of you really wishing you hadn't put both hands into the deep fat fryer. You, you see, um, the uh, the agents of men arrive. First on the scene is a is a is it is a fire uh, fire engine. It seems there's probably a fire um, fire station close, and there is a police station. Um, a and <clears throat> sorry, sorry, I'm using the wrong words. <clears throat> a mechanical land whale rolls in bright red, red as an apple, red as the autumn sky, reels forward and from inside. Oh, also, land whales are a thing you have in the nature reserve. Um, we, you use them like cars. Um, uh, men wearing wearing heavy protective gear uh, clamber out of the whale's ears and mouth. <laughs> Um, and grab a hose from the back of the world. Mm. Grab a hose from the back of the world. <laughs> grab the Ooh. well. If the, if the whale's into it, it certainly seems excited. Um, and oh, uh, yep. uh, and um, barge forward inside. Um, again, this acrid smoke running out. You can see some of them have uh, what look like um, can well canisters, um, like. Roughly tree stump size fire extinguishers. I can't describe them in a weird way. Just imagine, just imagine you've never seen a fire extinguisher before, um, and 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 start going in to to tackle the blaze. Um, you can also see um, at, at a at a at a respectable distance, so they can look like they're doing something, but actually aren't helping at all. Uh, the police come and set up a uh, a barrier on either side of the road to try and find these mysterious individuals who've caused so much trouble in the pub these armed and dangerous individuals um there is a there is a there there, there, are, there are two police cars uh, parked sideways and a bunch of guys in high vis vests wandering around going, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. <laughs> um and they're like pointing at the pub that sort of thing well the fire would do so much more work um there is, so yes you've got two you've got two police cars Whatever the cops bought with to deal with the fact that there's at least one shotgun here, you've got a fire engine, you've got um, a, 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 an increasing crowd, a growing crowd of onlookers, and I guess whatever shops and stuff are nearby. But I think it seems like everything's really been focused around the pub, and I'm loath to introduce a third location into the game. As as the creatures leave the land well, bright red, mm. clearly poisonous from this audacious coloring yeah, yeah. venomous or, creature or it's like a salmon and this is now one of the land whales which is swimming upstream to breed fascinating yeah as they as as the men vacate the land whale does my nose pick up anything edible sweet it is the thick of night and yeah. these creatures uh they need to have sustenance more often than us magnificent creatures absolutely and yeah have give me something in there give me a roll and roll two dice because this is your this is your ancestral trait that is a total seven uh you don't add them together just pick the high one that is a five then five cool um yeah yeah there's a cornish pasty um in the uh in in the glove box um it smells like it smells not dissimilar from um from bully eilish's arms if i'm if i'm not honest with you if i'm honest with you um it's, it's like like there's, there's, there's sort of prepared beef onion um pastry that sort of thing you can you, you can pick it out over the uh, over the acrid reek of smoke and the uh perhaps if i wrestling. soak it the way i see my corvid brother and do their food into the golden ambrosia i have selected it will then be the most delectable offering for my bride perfect love it yeah it's quite absorbent as well the cornish pasty that'll get you there um are you gonna are you, are you gonna be sneaky are you I'm gonna, gonna try just, to be sneaky uh, give me a roll to be sneaky please to steal, steal a cornish pasty from an operational fire engine as mr blobby oh fuck yeah you're still dressed as this tattered <laughs> mr blobby <laughs> <laughs> On the D8, that is a seven. Oh, 
yeah, Funk, you've got it. You've got it. <laughs> smash, smash cut to you ripping, ripping the glove box off with your teeth. The Mr. Blobby costume sort of half fallen off your head. Uh, and you get a, uh, yes, there, 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 is, there is a delightful Cornish pasty now. Um, As can... the half-melted Mr. Blobby waddles away with their ouchie. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so doing that, like, squat-legged run back and forth, <laughs> holding up the Cornish pasty. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make your wedding, like, pretty difficult. You've mm. got, um... right, I like to think, I think that you've... I think you've 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 satisfied your goals. Like you've got something delicious. You've I got feel something proud. proud. You, you should you should feel will, proud. The, the queen will enjoy this. Yes, the queen will mm. love this. Now, that's um, Ida. You've uh, sorry, Blues Clues. You've mm. uh, you've all. It seems like you've always thought of yourself as a as a guide, a front uh, a, a front person, a spearhead. Amongst the people, and you've always taken the initiative. And it's it's time to it's time to help out these other folks because you've got what you need now. And obviously, ob I mean, obviously, you've dreamed of only you being married to the queen. Obviously, that's what every half man, half 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 animal wants. But she's too much woman and too much pig for for, for, for just one for just her one, happiness one matters. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, her happiness Absolutely. matters. And I sn start sniffing out to see if there is anything, well, loud, if my keen hearing can see the source of these screeching whales that the land well made as it entered. Oh, Maybe God, I yeah. See these, Jeez, these oh, that's, that's so horns. loud, the land whale. Yeah, 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 the land whale's incredibly loud. And if you fired a shotgun from it, impossibly loud. Um. Uh -huh. okay, in, 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 interesting yeah in, interestingly um i i feel as though the land well perhaps has something that i could make use of as well mm -hmm. it's um it, it's uncoiling dark length is as dark as a snake's heart and it's probably tough too the, so the, the hose, right? Like... We're talking about the hose, right? Yes, the hose. Yes, the, yeah, the, the yeah, hose yeah. of the lander. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what, often, the... often firefighters make their hoses as dark as possible so they can't see them inside inside burning buildings. Yeah, absolutely. They're not. They're not. They're not like uniformly white. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. It's one of those cool carbon yeah. grey hoses. Yeah. 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 It's long. It's 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 long. It's tough. Totally like the tap that I have, but larger. Yeah, actually, you know what? Sorry, it does operate on the same rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, okay, yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's solid. I think you can get that. I think that can work. It feels like the mission is still a fire engine. <laughs> but morphs. All you've got is two horrendously burned forearms and a menu for a kitchen that no longer exists. <clears throat> what, like, is this, have you found what's fascinating here? Or do you need to keep looking? I, uh, I think they have the the fire extinguishers. Mm -hmm. Like it seems, it seems like a miracle thing to me. I don't, I don't know what it is. They seem to be taking these capsule-sized things, out of which uh, a, a fanciful white winter. They stuff, bottled I, I winter. Snow. The snow yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, is is it's portable snow? <laughs> mm, yeah, 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 yeah. It Portable snow be... for dealing with fire spirits. Yeah, and and I I feel like uh, it's it's a wonderful invention, and I mm -hmm. don't know how it's made, and I think it would amuse my <laughs> my to be wife. <laughs> so <laughs> tremendous, beautiful. Um, your mission: steal a fire engine. It's currently got several guys. Like running around it, there's two, there's, there's 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 two police uh, cars on either side, um, and a crowd of onlookers who are looking around. It's, oh, oh, the pub's broken down, uh, broken down, burning down. Um, the um, the pub owner, uh, covered in in, in in one of those sort of tin foil sheets they do after marathons. It's, it's oh, they had they had had the faces of cows. There was one. There was one. Oh, she was terrible, but kind of, kind of in a hot way. She had the arms of a swan <laughs> and the head of a fox, and she had two shotguns. 
Oh, is that right? Is that right, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. You, you, you just you just come over here. Uh, as, <laughs> as, as the police get ready to try and put him in an ambulance because they don't want to deal with this. Um, whoa. Whoa. We've got to steal it. We've got to steal a... A, a fire engine. I think Sarah, you are the like this. Like this. This. This is a loud thing. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm very I'd, interested. I'd, I'd like to see you take point. Your uh, your arms again, beautiful swan-like arms, making it quite hard to drive. But I'm not gonna. I don't think you'll let that stop you. Can, but can I fly with my arms? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Probably. The rest of us still have our auroral salve blessing. Uh, Maybe was... if we. Activate. Them oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Activate them all them. at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop there them could be some day. way to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> uh, as um, Missy uh, glides beautifully out from behind the, um, you know, there's it's like a little horse on a spring that goes back and forth. One of the yeah, flaps beautifully from behind that uh, spraying wood chip beneath her. Uh, everyone else, give me a roll as you pop off all your spells at once. And it's a D6. D6, this, right? please. Uh, I rolled a six. <gasps> I also rolled a six. You rolled a six, you rolled a six. Ah, okay, cool. And the one Ida. for me. Ida, you, um, uh, the, the queen whispers in your ear, you'll be swift. You'll be undiscovered. You'll be unseen. Go forth, my child. And you feel your you feel your your uh, you look down and your your skin starts to come apart like like autumn leaves your your fur falls off and your body <laughs> becomes an errant spray of autumn leaves you are you are impossible to harm unless you caught fire so look out for that um, but you are now a beautiful ethereal form of leaves the other two rolled monstrous stature, so you're four times as tall as you were before. Get to it. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to think, and I'm then going to ram the police car that is in front of the fire engine. <laughs> give me, give me a roll, please. Um, I'm going to go. That's that's two dice because you're because you're because you're good at that. Uh, I'm going to let you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make the effects more interesting because you're four times your size and you're already quite big. Okay, um, that is the mm, A3. <laughs> oh no! Oh. 2d6, I mean, right? 2d8? You should so, be rolling. I don't have. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so it's, 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 it's 2d6 for you, Morphs, because you've not yeah. ramped up yet. Andrew, Andrew's on d8. D oh, pretty bad. <laughs> it's Blood. a 1 and a 2. Bloody hell, lads! <laughs> Emerging from uh, from behind the covered area with some with with the some outdoor lights. <laughs> just just the biggest minotaurs you've ever seen, and you've seen a lot of minotaurs. Um, start start stomping towards, but you're not used to the overall bigness of this uh, of your new height. Um, the pair of you charge forward um, and smash into the side of the police car. There is a <laughs> as um, Andrew, please take one police car stuck to your horns as, <laughs> as a negative modifier. Um, and, oh, I need something funny for Morphs as well. What we got? I'm just, I'm just thinking. Like, excuse me, but again. Nobody gets it. I'm yelling at them. <laughs> like, oh my god, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. We're in control of the situation. Everything's fine. And then it's <laughs> <"Bruh!"> that. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. In in which case, um, I guess they've probably got some. Oh, I, I don't really like the idea of an arm response to that. Um, the cops see you coming. Because, because, like, because, like, Andrew, mm -hmm. stealth, thinking, thinking before you're acting. Hmm? Ch yeah, you think, charge down, boom, 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 smack. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, and you've got a hat, which is a police car. The other two, uh, Morphs, um, you go over and try to calmly explain that everything's fine, you have the situation under control. You're 25 foot tall, um, 
and uh, your arms are still smoking from the deep fro. Um, so, uh, like, <clears throat> while while you're explaining this, a police car rams into rams into your legs. Um, um, so just uh, please give me minus one for very hurt shin. Um, as 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 the as, as the officer in charge tries to reverse and get it out, but it's stuck it's stuck in the uh, bull. <sighs> um, Sarah. Yeah, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Does uh, does Billy Eilish now makes more noise than what I've witnessed? When the the big whale appeared, <laughs> um, you've made you've made a lot of noise, but I, I, I think it's probably not. Um, what's the word? Probably not okay to give someone a different husband as a present. Okay, so I, I'm don't... still I'm still gliding then. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're, um, this this is all happening far far below. Um, as you can see, this stomp around, and you can see the form of Blue's Clues. <laughs> swirling around in a beautiful pattern of autumn leaves um in fact uh blues clues what would you what, what would you what would you choose to do in your form of autumn leaves which is probably not as exciting as being 20 25 foot tall as the scene of majesty is taking place at the police vehicles at the, at, the, at these smaller shining silver fish mm -hmm. disgusting things uh the leaves will just blow again towards the red landwell fire mm -hmm. truck and the, the the humans were sort of massaging the inside of it, and that seems to make it move. So I will go into the front of the land whale and try to pull, twirl, twist, kick, press the various yeah. knobs and round things at the front to do my bidding. Delightful. Um, would you like to come out of your autumn leaves form, or sure. is? Is it or is it funnier to have it as leaves and trying to work? I, I, <laughs> I, I think probably the dog dressed as Mr. Blobby is funnier. Let's do a dog dressed as do, actually, melting you, Mr. Blobby. Do you want to? So actually, yeah. One option as well uh, is as you turn to autumn leaves, they spill horribly out of Mr. Blobby's ragged mouth, and the and the costume collapses. Perfect. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yes, you coalesce inside. Give me a roll, please. That is an eight. Hell yeah. You you swell with mighty power. Oh, I get upgraded to a D10? Yeah, you upgraded to a D10. You, you, feel, you feel the arboreal sounds magic and majesty um, as you as you begin massaging. Oh, ma just, just really giving this whale the business up inside its head. <laughs> <laughs> ah, delightful massage. <laughs> um, as the truck lurches forwards um towards um towards i think therefore i ran with his new hat um and starts and starts uh it starts there's no cliffs here I was, I was, you know I, I, you know what it's probably fun to have it to have it not drive off a cliff that seems like an exciting thing or to have it mm. Will driving it off a cliff expedite its journey to our queen? She no, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. She's not she's not really cliff based, she's forest based. Let's do it. Mm. You know what? I'm happy with this. I think this has gone really well. Sarah. There's there's a big there's a big minotaur with a police car on its head. And it's about and it's 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 wavering up sorry. He's waving around in front of the um in front of the fire truck. You're, you have the power of flight, two beautiful swan's wings, and I've got to presume two shotguns jammed in your giant mouth. <laughs> I have a big mouth. <laughs> You've got to clear the way. Neither of our minotaurs cleared the way. How oh. are we going to get out of here? Because, because they both failed their roles. So how are we going to get out of here? Um, oh. I'll be back. I'll oh. be back. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> What about if I flutter my big wings just in front of their eyes? Does it does it do, do anything? In them? front of in front of whose eyes? In front of uh, of the big one with the big you know, the big police car first. <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah. they're far run. <laughs> yes. Um, you you conjure 
Uh, you you flap majestically the uh, the 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 wonderful uh, auburn autumnal lights of the pub fire, um, washing over your beautiful wings, and I think therefore um, you see you see the vixen, and you see a fragment, a fragment of the uh, of the arboreal sow's beauty reflected in the wings. The arboreal sow is everything. The arboreal sow is a fire in a regional pub. The arboreal sour, the arboreal sow is the smell of 45-year-old carpets catching fire. The arboreal sow is a half man, half fox creature with 10-foot swan wings on either side, flapping beautifully. And you're drawn towards this. The, the, the police coat spills around slightly. The fire truck lurches forward, driven capably by Blue's Clues, who's really doing the business in there, barreling down towards the forest. The cops scatter, run, flee, reverse their car further away, and all, all of you manage to land on or return to normal size and grab hold of the enormous red land whale as it screams towards the forest. This will be a most fitting tribute indeed for the queen. Yes. And we flash forward. We flash forward to the wedding night, tomorrow night. And we see from all over, I've already forgotten the name of that thing, what is it? From all over the Eves Wood Nature Reserve, Dozens of potential spouses have come forward. Many of them are covered in their in their resplendent wedding gowns and wedding gear. They have they have um, beautiful beautiful um, uh, uh, crimson leaves stitched into dresses and suits. Not suits. We'll go with dresses and shrugs. Uh, they have uh, some of them have adorned their antlers with holly, um, or they have. Uh, twine. They, they, they've been growing strawberries up them for months, and they're they're they're, they're blooming and looking beautiful. And in the centre of the of the uh, of the clearing lies the arboreal sow. Um, you, she never moves. I can't stress this enough. She's always there, and everything else moves around where she is as as and when it's needed. Uh, she has again all those beautiful garlands and a delicate veil just over just over the eyes, because uh, it's, it's classy. Um, and each uh, uh, you are uh, you are amongst you. You're not quite the not, not quite the 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 shittest hottest of all of all the potential uh, spouses, but you're you're doing pretty well. You're, you're, you're near the front of the queue, um, and the, uh, the 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 attendant to the sow, the uh, the sow's vizier. A uh, like the idea of him being a crow, um, half crow, half man. Uh, now, um, <clears throat> sorry, he doesn't say now. Immediately before this, a guy walks up and says, "Ah, oh, my mighty queen." This is a guy where he's got he's got kind of a boar's head. Ah, oh, my mighty refulgent queen, my beautiful viviparous queen. I have bought for you these salt and vinegar crisps, and he's instantly eaten by the pig. Uh, she 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 lunges forward. He is one with his queen now. He is one with his queen. He, his tribute, his tribute. See one, see all. His tribute was deemed unworthy. He has joined the queen in her belly. Now we will call forth those who visited. Silverdale. <clears throat> First, bring forth Blue's Clues, um, and then please, Ida, present your uh, present your tribute to the Queen. There's the casket that has been cleaned up as much as possible. We borrowed some snails and we made it shiny and moist, and. <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze it as much more as I can. Borrowed some snails. Just like made it shiny and beautiful. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Carefully rolling it up towards mm. the beautiful sow. And then 
gently and also mightily pulling off one of the planks so that its liquid is laid bare for our queen. And in the middle, a beautifully soaked, layered in flavor Cornish patty, twice its size absorbed of this ambrosia. <laughs> a miracle! And I bow, and I hope my queen finds it to her liking. She eats the whole keg, the whole barrel. Uh, and not you! Congratulations! Um, the, the, the crow, the crow scuttles forward. Here, t here, have a ring. And he, 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 he takes one of the, uh, he's, he's got, he's got a big sort of, uh, multiple necklaces of rings around his neck. He pulls one off and gives you the ring. These rings were forged by the elves many years ago. This sorry, mm, I do it in character. These rings were forged by the elves many years ago, handed down between husbands, wives, and non-gender specific spouses. And you are now one of those spouses. I am not worthy. But if my queen chooses me, then I am all she deserves. You will stand guard over her and honor her in all things. Next, bring forth Bully Eilish. What do you have? So, uh, Bully is already a little emotional because <laughs> Wedding. extremely, extremely in love already. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> yeah, and, and like holding back tears, like gets gets down on my knees. Mm -hmm. the, the fire hydrant that's almost entirely empty now. <laughs> so, <laughs> you, my eternal queen. Winter, I present without any, this is a winter that you can have whenever you want <clears throat> to give you respite from whenever the world angers you. <clears throat> and with that, I would read you this novel <laughs> that has a, a bunch of, um, not a bunch of, this the storm of uh, spells that give you unending food. <clears throat> Maybe From you will read right now as a demonstration. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please. Hmm. How would I do it? <laughs> can you read? Uh, can I read the menu? I don't think so. I can't I read. So. I don't think anyone here can read. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I can't I, read, smile, so... Smile it out. So I just, like, go close up and try yeah. and, and imagine what is written. But I, I sort of... <laughs> yeah. You know how when you um, when you can't, when you don't want to say anything, so you sort of hum things mm -hmm. in, in a particular manner, and I'm like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get through that. And then I show the picture, and I'm like... My queen, for you. The queen, um, you uh, you show your queen the picture of that delicious yeah. looking fresh, uh, uh, that delicious looking fried fish, that uh, those wonderful uh, chips of potato and those peas, fresh peas, an enormous bounty of peas. She lunges forward and eats you and the menu and the and the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of Thank a you, queen. In, in her mouth. <laughs> Billy Eilish is with her. I love you. <laughs> Next, you. <laughs> I think therefore I am. Now it says here you want to bring something dark and tough. What do you? What do you have? So in in in, in the um, in the past night, uh, what I think therefore I am has done has uh, consulted someone else to affix the the the. The, the the tap to his horns. So he steps up, <laughs> pulling the hose of the land whale uh, with him. And he bows, he thinks, he rams the ground in his bow, and he says, Very My queen, I have covered myself in the ichor of 
something as dark as the snake's heart. That too, I have affixed the source of that power, that strength to my horns for you, my queen. As And here is an adult boa that was attached to the land whale that I've also gained for you, my queen. And, I, and he like bows again and like headbutts the ground again. Even, I know, even I know that one's pretty weak. That's not... Do you want to get eaten? Did he bring anything else? <laughs> I... You made yourself tasty. I, I did. <laughs> but... Well, he thought about it. I <laughs> thought hard. <laughs> okay, well, just, just for formality's sake, is there any messages you want to pass on to your next of kin? Uh, my next of kin has already been eaten. Ah, uh, <laughs> well... <laughs> I hope you have fun, Queen. Ha! <laughs> Queen lunges forward and eats you. Um, a reunion. Yeah, yes, a beautiful <laughs> reunion. Oh, yeah, two of them related. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, the two the, the two of you are, are, are consumed. Uh, you two of you like, meet in the stomach of like Jonah. Um, and finally, where is Missy the fox woman? What has she bought? For this has been a poultry feast so far. <laughs> How do you arrive, Sarah? Um, I think I'm a bit jealous. I'm a bit jealous of Blue Clues because we got married already. I'm well, also a bit jealous of the others because they are one with the queen. I'm like, oh my god, I've not waited for so long for this moment in my life. Uh, what? I mean, you can, okay, you have a fire engine and two shotguns. Yeah. So, please, describe your entrance. I... Uh, <laughs> arrive. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I up out of the <laughs> the fire engine and I go. Here I am, my queen, with my two shotguns. Leaving the fire engine like running as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I go to my queen, and I present her with uh, the the passing sound of the, the fire alarms. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly with my two guns. And here are the winds, <laughs> the magic winds <laughs> of the human that makes horrible sounds. The queen, uh, like, like, you see the queen flinch in respect to the noises. A lot, something so loud it made the queen flinch. She look, she, she opens one enormous eye, easily the size of a football. But yeah. And cracks open her mouth in an enormous grin. Uh, good, she says. Um, give this one two rings, one for each shotgun. Um, as the as the the, the corvid advisor um, <clears throat> uh, reaches forward and and and, and delicately puts two um, <clears throat> one ring on each hand. Congratulations, says says the corporate advisor as the fire engine crashes into a tree and catches fire. This year's celebration is a success and we have many new beautiful spouses for the queen. Now, the orgy! And we'll cut them. <laughs> He Thank just inside the queen's belly being like, oh, brother Ram, can you believe how lucky we are? We have been consumed by the queen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, beautiful work, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hell. Thank you. Oh, and thank you all for watching and listening and donating and, and, and donating so kindly to Médecins Sans Frontières. I think that we had a... I think that your, your donations definitely helped uh, in as much as <clears throat> they made the last scene a lot more exciting. And we got a lot of Mr. Blobby gags out of it. And that's what, that's what really matters. Oh, and something to do with doctors as well, I guess. Yeah. Um, no, seriously, thank you very much for watching and contributing and joining us in the chat and taking part in the giveaways. It's a really wonderful cause. And I'm really glad to be part of it. Now, we're going to wrap this up. So what I'd like to do is, um, <clears throat> well, we're gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go around um, and, uh, and, and call on everyone. If you've got anything you want to plug, now's the time. So, Andrew, your, your intro was so mysterious. I'm, I think I know less about you now 
than when you started talking. So is there anything you'd like to plug, Andrew? Yes, I panicked with my introduction, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> if, if you want to see my uh, the work that I'm doing elsewhere, um, then uh, head over to Facebook uh, for Orchid LARP. Uh, I run LARP events. Oh. Um, and as well as that, I'm one of the producers for Bothwell, so you can go to witchards.com if you want to go to Wizard School and Orchid LARP for all other manner of shenanigans. Looking cool. So I'm, I'm just just looking on the website. Oh, you got oh you got costume and stuff. Oh, I'm yeah. walking through the woods. <clears throat> oh, tremendous. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I I I I got my start in LARP, but I used to run uh, zombie LARP survival scenarios in um in shopping malls. So it was much less sort of whimsical. Oh. It was much more like running and screaming through pigeon shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> next up, uh, morphs. If you, if you, anything you'd like to plug, please do it now. Uh, yeah. So. Uh... I, as I said before, I'm an illustrator. I am currently working on this project called Fetal Life. Uh, it's an indie TTRPG supplement uh, by Brooklyn Games, if anybody knows. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if uh, you ever need character, spot, uh, maps, ambibot. <laughs> Have you got a portfolio? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't have a website as yet, but you can find me as morphs001 everywhere. <laughs> Other than Twitter, it kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> I said no, anyway. Just old people there like me. Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for uh, staying with us. I really had so much fun during the game, so thank you so much. You got, you got double married. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to be a swan. That was crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, actually, I just started streaming art and games uh, on Twitch. Uh, at My username is Retro. Retro Cozy Art, and this is also the username you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, but do be aware that on Twitter, I, I do post more stuff relating to video games, so more about work. Um, but yeah. Wonderful. Ida? This was a fantastic game, and my mouth hurts from smiling and laughing. <laughs> um, you can find me on Twitter as in the pan. And I am usually a project manager, producer, team lead, especially for communities that want to show more of the amazing TTRPG talents, stories that are outside the US, because we have amazing events and creative talents that aren't just all uh, US-based, West Coast-based. They're all here. We don't have to be up at 2 in the morning to play. And um, that's sort of my jam. <clears throat> Look for me on Horde of Tales next month. We are organizing an all Pride Month with all queer tables and Ooh. all European UK tables. All of them Ooh. and all queer and even all POC tables. It's amazing. Uh, more details coming on that on my Twitter. Um, I'm also one of the team leads here at Roll for Good. Uh, this has been an amazing game and I'm really glad to have be part of it. Finally, I'm Grant. If you bring me here, you can check out. Oh, so, so, don't worry about liking watching me here. Enjoy a bunch of free games. <laughs> Oh, I think no we lost. That's all right. Oh. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Um, go <laughs> you know what, Grant? If you can still hear me, uh, refresh the entire video tab. In the meantime, that is Grant, and he is a purveyor and a wonderful talent of single page games that are accessible for everyone to play. Um, Check out his itch.io. <laughs> check out all his games happening at Rupert and Declan, um, especially <laughs> a new game that is coming out, I believe, in eight days. So check out all his socials for that information. It has been a pleasure getting to know Grant during this game. And maybe we can hear him now because we see him now. Yeah. Hi, hello, hello. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, there you are. I'm here. Is here it coming through? Yeah. Top draw. Thank you. We just lost the internet. Um, yes, um, I've got I got bits of what Ida was saying, so presumably mentioned it. So, rrdgames.com. Go there. There's like 80 free games, and there's some games you can buy if you want. Um, but please go there. Take a look at our stuff. It's really good. And please, uh, finally, if you go to rrdgames forward slash hollows, you get to see our brand new, exciting, shiny. You can download a quick start for our brand new game, which is about um, horrible, fucked up, 1860s, depressed people finding other depressed people, invading their personal hells and killing their personal demons with shotguns that hate them. 
It's very yeah. um, it's uh, it's it's about toxic masculinity, and also <laughs> um, and also MMO combat. But yes, thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining and watching. Thank you for playing, everyone. Um, have a wonderful day and good luck to whoever, to whoever's up next. Bye, Stick around, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Next game soon. Bye.